Department of Motor Vehicles, Rick speaking. How may I help you? Hey, I just sold my car and I can't find my title. Uh, that would be Jerry and titles. One moment, please. Okay. Jerry? 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 He went to lunch. He'll be back in an hour. He'll be right with you in one moment. Thank you. Where do you want to get lunch? Let's try ourselves some tomato soup. Tomato soup. Tomato soup. Order it in from the diner. We forgot to buy a little bit of gasoline on the way here. Hello? Just a moment. Jerry's gonna be back really soon. Thank you for submitting a request for a replacement title with the Oregon DMV. Unfortunately, we are unable to process your request at this time. While you are waiting, please enjoy the enclosed compact disc of our sponsored music dial tones. Please press 1. Isopropyl myristate, Daxon 5 and 6, aluminum, blue dye. Ah! In deodorant? That stuff's toxic! That's why we created Mother's Son. Personal hygiene without all the toxins. We've removed the chemical ingredients that sanitize and deodorize and left in all the fun ingredients like oatmeal, chamomile, lavender, honey. You know, the stuff that doesn't do anything. Good boy. Other brands work. Ours are very natural. It's natural! On all of our products, we make sure that the packaging is yellow, the cleaning agent is brown, and most of all... That nothing works. There's one thing I had to tell you guys, I forgot. Oh. Tell who? I forgot. Most products have chemicals that block odor. But not Mother's Son. We were just too nice. We let everyone in. Mother's Son! So you just want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. When it's gone, then you're done. Other side, one, two, three, four, five. It smells like you. <laughs> now introducing Mother Son's second line of products, Daddy's Hands. Named after my ex-husband, Jonah's father, Reginald. Reginald. That's right, that was his name. You can put Daddy's Hands all over every part of your body. The Mother Son family of products. Try them out. They, they work. They work. They do. A little. Pedicab! Pedicab! Hey! Where are you going? Wanna ride? Pedicab! Come on! Pedicab! Hey! Where are you going? No! Hey! No! Hi! No! Pedicab? No! <laughs> Pedicab! Ah! Pedicab! Pedicab! Hey guys! Pedicab! Who's good? Pedicab! Pedicab! Who's bad? Pedicab! 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 You will not have to listen to a radio station you do not like! Pedicab! Pedicab? Yes? No? Pedicab! Come on! Hey, where are you going? Come on! You want to walk? Uh, come on! Come on! Pedicure! Pedicab! Yeah? Pedicure! Come on in! Hi. Don't ignore me! Nah! Come on! You want to ride? Forget it! Come on! You can't ignore me! Ugh. Ladies! You don't have ten bucks for a ride across town! Forget it! It's a joke! Wow! Pedicab! Ignoring me! Good workout! You straight up ignored me! Have a good one! Touchy cab! Wanna get in? Touchy cab! Hurry cab! Don't ignore me! You gonna walk? Ooh. Heavy cab! 
Because I'm having a picnic? Petty cat, want to take all your food and eat in the cab? Mm, mm, yeah. Petty cat, pet, 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 pet. Petty cat. Where are you going? Going to work to your friend's house? Just mean a friend. Party? Dollar a block. Come on, a dollar for seven blocks. Ah! That's like a free ride! I wish I could jump up on this curb. Oh, ignored! Denied! Hey, can I get a ride? Yes, right away. Where are you off to? Uh, the airport. Portland Airport, PDX. All right. All right. PDX. Dollar a block. Hold on. What airline? What terminal? Virgin. All right. Hi, how are hey. you? Are you Ted? Yes. How are you? Nice Phil. You. Phil? I'm Gigi. Gigi. Nice Hi. to meet you. Yeah, we're from Japanese Toy School offices. Great. What's the, what seems to be the problem? Well, uh, this is the space. I just feel like my desk is a little bit blah. We are really going to transform not only this office, but your life, Ted. Oh, uh, we've got these Japanese toys. Okay. And we're going to place them around the desks. And so people will pass by and go, hey, what? what? Explain this to me. Fantastic. Make up whatever you want. The important part is we're talking. You're using your imagination, and people will think he's a really creative guy. Sounds perfect. Ted, are you a creative guy? I like to think I am. I do the newsletter. All right. That looks great. Oh, ah, so. This is like a chicken box. Use your hand for a minute. Say your hand again. Ted. You drive a lot. I do. Yeah. Yeah, stick shift. Yeah, but I use this hand. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick pass by. Okay. I'm meeting her. Okay. Hey, how have you been? Yeah, that's, this is this is the height on this is good. Okay. These are not well made. Is that from a show or a comic book? I or? mean, it's from Japan. Ted, you know what? You're kind of in the way. Can you just go to lunch? We're gonna finish our work here. Sure, I'd cool. Phil, I need you to bring out the big gun. Hurry, come on. Got that? Got it. Come on, keep going. These two guys together? Yeah. He's got one eye. Let's get some more stuff, come on. Okay. Look down at me, can you see me? I can't see you because I'm so blinded by those beautiful Japanese toys. Is that the computer? Let's see if he's... Yeah, that's really good. I think once we get the one on the side here, because I think we'll be plenty of toys. Are you talking into your elbow, Phil? Yeah. I can't hear you. Oh. Um, I'm thinking something like a female body. Right. Bare legs. Maybe something on top that's like... Like a speedboat, maybe? But with teeth? <laughs> exactly. Well, it's pretty creative. Thanks. Tempos, Unipos. Right. I don't know this guy's name, but... And Tempos Pets right here. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And uh, this one is pretty good. Oh, cool. Do you want to hang out sometime? Yeah, that, that'd be great. So this will be fun. Oh, cool. You're good. Got what? Oh. Plenty of room. Here, look. Plenty. Thank you. Just cut it, cut it. Here. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Come out, come and start again. It's okay, I got it. Come, come forward. Just pull back. No, no, but cut it left. No, no. Sorry, you, you're a little close to the. Sorry, I don't want to. I don't want to hit you. It's okay. Hi, ma'am. Yeah. I think you might be a little close to this car oh, now. Oh, it's okay. I'm just trying to park. I, I would pull out a little bit further. I just, I'm worried about this car. I'm worried I, about. I, I've actually got a pretty good view. I'm good. Thank you. No, I don't. I don't yeah, think you do. There you go. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Right, 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 right. She doesn't right. have it, ma'am. Yeah. I'm not gonna. You're okay, just come back. Hey, I can help you, yeah, just come out. Ma'am, yeah. just watch me here. Watch You're me good. Here. Not... Watch me here. Watch I need to here. not hit. Watch me here. Let's each get in a mirror. I'm in this mirror. Excuse me, ma'am, you wanna come back an inch? This is a foot. This inch is a foot. Now this way. Now this way. You wanna come back two crackles and a smooth. 
Ma'am? This is the front of the car. You have so much room. Turn the rear wheels. Hi. Listen to the sound of my voice. I'm right here. I'm going to help you. You're fine. You have room. Hi. I'm right here, too. Go green, yellow, red, green. Green. Do you mind just moving out from the back of the car? Uh, you know what? I think we should do this European. What's that? So you want to pull out here? Or you're going to just come in perpendicular. Gonna, all right. I'm, you know, I'm going to park the. I'm going to park the American way. Back, pull back. Yep, I got no, it. No, 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 no. Push. No, you know no, what? I'm sink done. It. I'm done. I'm done. She's gone. All right. Good. European style. Great. Some people look at a sandwich and say, that's great. Some people look at a sandwich and say, that's not going to cut it. Look at this. It's bulky. It flips. It flops. It's very thick. It's a little disjointed. You're really eating a piece of 300-year-old technology. The sandwich can't really withstand the strength of the human hands. Yeah, you know, I'll do it. See? Can't really withstand it. Do you mind? This came as a sandwich, and now it is a mess. In the 1980s, American culture introduced a the pita, pita pocket. pocket. If you ever imagine what it was like to eat a purse or a clutch filled with leaves and tomatoes, this is it. Unfortunately, there continued to be problems. The pita bread itself was too dry. Often it took a whole... I'll, I'll say it. Was Often it took a, a whole, whole glass, glass of, of water, water just to get it down. A whole glass of water. water. Now, bowls are one of man's earliest inventions. So the problem was... People were so used to, you know, the pita bread, the wraps, the sandwiches, that people were sort of biting into the actual bowl. I, I don't think that ever actually happened. There, there's a high probability of anything happening. I think there are some people who swallowed whole bowls. Mounds. Look at that. A mound of food. There's no plates, no bowls, no utensils. Exactly. It's there are no, no bowls. Look at this. You no just plates, go like no that, bowls. and it's gone. I think the point could have been I'm made. I'm listening, I'm listening. Yes, the, the point, point could have been, been made, made without you smashing the I'm listening, okay. But we didn't stop with mounds. Ow, watch out. We call it the chicken sprinkler. It's ground chicken pumped through a sprinkler. No bowls, no utensils, no bread. Let's give it a shot. Is your foot bleeding? Quite a lot, yes. Ready? Here we go. Chicken time. I can just run my tongue right along that sprinkler. If I throw up, it's not because of that. that. It's because I'm, I'm bleeding a little bit. Oh, if I throw up, it is because of that. Mm -hmm. Hi there. Is this the women and children's first place? No, women and women first. Oh, women and women's first. Hi, my name is Rick, and I'm working for the Kingsworth Neighborhood News. Just want to ask you a couple questions about the store, if you have time. An interview? Wow. Sure. We've been waiting for this. <laughs> yeah, this will be real brief. Okay, um, you should probably take a seat. Okay, so what are your hours for the store? And do you have um, men and women bathrooms, or are they a joint? Deal. What kind of an article is this going to be? An expose? Is it going to be in depth? Is it going to be skewed? Is this a feature? Is it a cover story? It's just a little blurb about your store in the neighborhood. Well, okay. Mm -hmm. The year was 1991. New York City. I was working as senior VP of Crown Books Corporate. Good morning, everyone. I'm back. What is that? Looks like coffee. I drink Sanka. Dustin. Yeah. Get a memo out, please, sure. as much as fast as you can. Hi, who are you? I knew. Sit down. I don't know what that is or who you are. Skirt. I've been gone two weeks maternity leave. I was a real go-getter. I had sparks in my eyes and lava flowing through my veins. Oh, much, much better. I was about to spit this out into your eye. Meanwhile, in Midtown, I was head of new business and acquisitions for B. Dalton Corporate, making sure there was a B. Dalton in every mall in America. Rich! <clears throat> Guys, uh, I didn't close the deal. Uh. Not! <laughs> Cha ching Choo-choo-choo-choo-choo-choo. <laughs> Come on in here. Let me get some of that. 
<laughs> Arby, you know who didn't close the deal? Your mom. Oh, yeah. Well, listen, what's the 411? How did it go down? Well, you know, I mean, every time they didn't give me what I wanted, I was just like, I'm outie. Outie, outie, quattro. <laughs> All right. And I just kept saying, talk to the hands. And... <laughs> I guess I'm all out in a bag of chips. <laughs> Good girl. I'm glad everyone appreciates my efforts and, you know, my intellect. Tony, 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 Tony! Well, in 1992, everything changed. B. Dalton Bookseller acquired the Crown Book Corporation to form the largest chain of bookstores in the country. At the top, Bruce Nathanson. What was that Coke? Is it in the bathroom? He was a kind of wolf in wolf's clothing. Tall, blonde, handsome, he was relentless. Goodbye, Crown and B. Dalton. Hello, Carlton. Wow, this place is nice. Can't wait to make mincemeat out of these bozos. The boss would like to see you now. Of course he does. Oh, I'm sorry. I had a meeting with Bruce. Are you on your way out? I'm also here for a meeting with Bruce. Oh, well, hello, I'm Candace Devereaux. Tony Rose, B. Dalton. B. Dalton, well, look at you. Have you met Bruce before? No, but I'm about to knock his socks off. Well, I see you two are getting cozy. Hi, Bruce Nathanson. Candace Devereaux. Candy, what a pleasure. Please have a seat. Tony, Tony, Tony. Please have a seat. Oh, I'm so excited to have the two of you working for me all under one big corporate roof. <sighs> Chick lit. Chick lit. What? What is that? What? Um, books for women, written by women. Whatever it is, we've got to have it. We need it. And you two, being by far the most qualified chicks in the corporation, I thought perhaps, I don't know, one of you would like to uh, run it. I can, I can do, do it. Well, you know, that's what I thought, but I can, I can only hire one of you. So my plan was to pit you two against each other. Some good old-fashioned office competition. Uh, I'm certainly more qualified to do this position. I disagree. I'm actually the more qualified one here. You know, one of you will get the position. Stock options, jazzy suits, the Acura. Um, and the other won't. Um, Bruce, may I have a moment with you alone, please? Tony? I'm not leaving. Well, it appears. We've reached an impasse. Tony was inexperienced. Candace's recollection is murky at best. I myself was a bit of a whiz kid. Tony the Pony, they called me. And I was a whiz woman. When I went to the bathroom, it was loud. I was called Candace, that woman who looks like a horse who pees like a horse. Well, anyway, we just got a table at Tutu's and just sat there and really got to know each other. Did you watch Murphy Brown last night? Really good episode, wasn't it? I thought so, too. Definitely important and well done and well played. I think she's brilliant. That's great. So, Tony, how does a mousy girl like you end up in the big, bad city? Well, I uh, grew up in Philadelphia. Yeah, daughter of a doctor and a professor. Went to Harvard, went to MIT. I got asked to go to MIT. They begged me to come. Please, please, we want your brains. We want your beauty. You can really do it here for us at MIT, but I don't know. Guys are kind of ugly. Yeah, I, I didn't go to graduate school for the men. And what kind of men do you date? Men who don't have a whole lot going on? Maybe friends of friends who are doing other friends a favor? No, I... I mean, you could tell me. I'm not going to tell you anything, Candace. All strategy and sussing each other out. But it was checkers, too, in its own way. In the positioning of the queen which is chess, which was my um, or original analogy. We're getting close to about 50 words now. So, I did my usual Candace thing of finding out what made Tony tick, because I was a shark. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you some advice. I've slept around every single company I've worked at. I've slept my way to the top, to the bottom, to the left, to the right. I mean, directions you couldn't even imagine but it got me here. Do you even want a desk in the new office or shall we just put a bed in there for you? Don't kid yourself, honey. Nothing will get in my way. Nothing. That's a penis. 
going inside me. I'm getting a read on you, Candace. Someone whose uh, legs are open 24-7. Sometimes they're closed, but I'm bent over from behind. Well, you've gotten where we are in two different ways. And I don't judge your methods, but I do not abide by them. I might seem benign, mild, and even soft-spoken, but you shouldn't cross me. You will never, never get this job over me. Watch your back, Candace. Well. Let the games begin. Chiclet should be an oasis. You're in that bookstore. There's Tom Clancy. Oh, there's Dean Coots. Oh. Everything changes when you get to the chiclet section. It's pink. It's red. It's cozy. Chick. Lit. I want these books shoved in people's faces. I want these pages crumpled up and put down people's throats. Rhonda, can we make a reservation for seven people at eight o'clock at Tutu's for dinner? Seven at Tutu's, Thank yeah. You. Rhonda, can I get a reservation at Tutu's tonight? Tutu's, yeah. 8 p.m., seven people. Seven people, 8 p.m. Rhonda, do me a favor, cancel that reservation. It's two tables of two. Two tables of two for Tutu's. Rhonda, can I get a reservation for 22 people at Tutu's tonight? 22 people. Yeah. Rhonda, right, but write this out on magic marker. Say, Tony is mentally ill. No, I'm sorry, I can't do that. I, I have think a... you can. No, I, I have a lot can. of mental illness in my family. I have a lot of schizophrenia. I I'm not asking you your family history. I'm sorry for yelling. How's Weight Watchers going? Were you crying? Rhonda, will you send Candace a bale of hay? Rhonda, will you take Tony's glasses and get a magic marker and just blacken them out and put them back on her face again and step on them while they're on her face? You Look, need to find the chick female chick Gen X author. Okay, I'm on a call. Do you hear that? Oh, on the phone, I thought that was just a mole growing on her face. Rhonda, do you have the latest New York Times? Rhonda, throw away the newest New York Times. Is Rick back from Hawaii? Rhonda, I'm talking to you. Rhonda, what button do I push? Rhonda, when's the soccer game tonight? Find out. Rhonda, can I get some Crystal Pepsi in my mini fridge? Rhonda, did you find out yet? When's the soccer game? Rhonda, Rhonda, Rhonda. 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 Between the two of you, it's like a, it's like a tennis match at Forest Hills. This is going to be Tony's chiclet department. I feel sorry for her. I really do. It must be hard being a nothing. Did you write that down? <laughs> Uh, you guys open on Sundays? Are you even listening to our story? Yes. Well, listen to this. We have a story to tell. So listen. Okay. And write it down. Okay. Thank you. The competition was on. That bouncer is really nice, isn't he? Oh, look. That's that Tony girl. Oh, there's Candace. Hi, we see you. You're making a fool of yourself. Pathetic, isn't she? Probably on her fifth drink already. Isn't that the worst? Why don't you call her over? She should have fall down on the floor. Yeah, I bet she'll fall right down. Candace! Me? Oh, yes. Let me guess. Candace, I'm in love with you. I've heard it my whole life. Elementary school, high school, college, the working world. You're so beautiful. I love your profile. Oh, let me drink you in. I want to hear the sound of your voice. I wrote this poem about you. I wrote this song about you. But now it's your turn, Bruce. What are you going to do for me? The job is yours. Everything is yours. Just take me. <laughs> Buckle up and get ready for the ride of your life. I've got two airbags with your names on them. these broads run around and fight each other. I mean, I've got myself a front row seat to a cat fight. Meow! Meow! <laughs> and the crazy thing is, is that these broads, I mean, they actually believe that they're going to get this position. I mean, it's so sad. Really, of course, I'm going to give it to a man. That's why I called you guys here. Listen, I need suggestions. I need testosterone. I need semen. You know, I need balls. I need someone who's decision making is not influenced by the cycles of the moon my plan is to bring in a fellow or two from the outside i want some twigs and berries so names suggestions anyone handyman plumbers ex-cons i don't care as long as it's not women hello tony it's candace will you please let me in and tony that's the reason that neither of us are getting that position ever i just feel like such a fool 
Oh, Candace, honey. You know what they said, Tony? That this job is too important to give to a woman. Honey, it's okay. <laughs> it's not okay. I just wanted so bad to make something of myself, and I was good. And <laughs> Who am I kidding? I mean, the head of Chick Lit. The only thing I could be the head of is a, a Candace body. <laughs> oh, Candace. I know my legs are weird, and I've got a horse face. And no, you don't. I do. You I'm don't. Like... Bruce, he's, he's so cruel. It was so weird. He, like, brought me over to his house, and we drank a little bit, and he, like, Turned on his disc man, and he goes, "Do you like Motown? Do you like Motown?" And then he said the disc man didn't work, so he had to go downstairs to get some kind of another plug. And he popped his head in. And he goes, "Hey, I hope you like Motown." And I'm like, "What are you doing? Why are you saying this to me over and over again?" And then I was like, "Get up here!" And I got on top of him, and I just like rode him. I mean, I grinded so hard. I mean, I thought the bed was gonna break. He was using me. He was using me, and I was supposed to be using him. We're all being used. I keep thinking that having men around me would just make me more powerful, but, but I hate men now. That's when everything changed. We swore from that point on that we would never throw another woman under the bus to get ahead. We were no longer adversaries. We were sisters. I'm not gonna let Bruce or some other man run the chiclet department. Chiclet, it shouldn't be some term that diminishes what it means for women to be part of literature. It's just saying like, look, here's your tiny little category. We've been given a morsel. We've been given a crumb. No, we, we want a buffet. Yeah. We want a goddamn buffet. That's right. That we could dig our fists into and feed our faces with. I'm angry and you're angry and I love it. We are women. Now it's time for us to change and take over. Yes. I have a plan. I have a plan. All right, everybody, all right, everybody, settle down. Listen, I'm not gonna waste your time with a lot of mumbo jumbo. The truth is, the search is over. I have found the stars to head the chick lit department. I mean, I know we wanted to promote from within, but these two, they came into the interview and they slapped me in my face with their balls, basically, <laughs> that's what happened. So here they come. Kirk, Jeremy, get in here! Yeah! <laughs> So, let me get this straight. You two dressed up as men. It was Tony's idea. Just a couple of wigs and some mustaches, some suits, and worked like a charm. You know how mad I am right now as a guy? I don't take nothing from no one. I'm the toughest guy around. I'm like a sheriff. All right, I love these guys. I love these guys. I think we're going to bring the, the manpower that uh, the chiclet department needs. Give it some balls. Give it some big old balls. Yeah. All right, listen, we got a chick lit department to start here. Everybody get back to work. Let's go, let's go. Good job, Candace. Tony, we did it. Kirk, Jeremy, if you're in there making it out, you better cut it out. Hey, listen, this weekend, a soiree, a celebration. My boat, my bitches, my coke, your noses. Great, sounds good. Yeah, the cocaine. How? Rain in the main vein. Yeah. Wow. You see how that looked at? See you on the yacht. How'd you do that? I'd be standing up all the time anyway. It's like a racehorse. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you see the badge on that one? Yeah, let's talk about the high seas, right? Right. Nice angle. You know who has a, a crazy old badge? I'm talking like a heavy dangler, Candace. I couldn't get her off my dong. Pounding and pounding and pounding and pounding. <laughs> Wasn't it mutual? Didn't it seem like maybe you both uh, got into it together? What are you talking about again? Candace. You and Candace? Wasn't there any oh, sense I of like... She her all kinds of nonsense. She just ate it all up. I'm not a dummy. I know how to get abroad like that. Like a dumb dog. Dumb? The girl probably went to Tufts. No, she's probably pretty brilliant and no. beautiful, it sounds like to me. For a horse. Easy. With that. I don't understand what's the problem. Uh, I, I gotta excuse me, please, for a, a while. Okay. Candace, what are you doing? I can't take it anymore. Did you hear what they said about me? The things they say about women just makes me so mad. It's just terrible. They're so sexist. They hate women. I can't get to do this charade anymore. I don't want you to either. Okay. Do you have a match? Well, I'm not saying you need plastic surgery. I'm just saying if you wanted it, I would pay for it. 
Whoa, 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 what is this? Fire! Fire! <coughs> Abandon ship, everybody, the lifeboats! Let's go, man, to the lifeboat! Ah, oh, Kirk! Sammy, thank God you're safe! Permission to come aboard! I don't think so. We overheard you say that no woman would ever get that chick lit job. Well, guess what? Two women did. Tony? Candace? What happened to Kirk and Jeremy? It's us. We had disguises. We put on a fake mustache and a fake wig. Let's just let bygones be bygones again. Candace, baby, I, I love you, remember? You love me? You know who you're in love with? Yourself. And by the way, I was faking it. I didn't even feel you. We're leaving. You're not coming with us. I know that it's generally women and children first, but I'm just a little baby. I'm just a tiny little baby. Let me on board. Not this time, Bruce. This time, it's women and women first. Come on, ladies. And babies. And tiny babies. I hope you get scurvy. All of you. What? Wait for me. I'm coming. Sorry, sir. Women only. I am a woman. My name is Angel. Oh. Oh, I could see that. Okay. Oh, kind of like an Annie Lennox Eurythmics thing? Come on, Boyd. Hold on, that's all the proof you require? A hat removal? We did it. Nice work, ladies. <laughs> Let us on the boat, you bitches! Bitches? Why don't you burn in hell, Bruce? We will track you down and find you! Yeah! Sink, you little dinghy! Let's go! Good job, Candace. Good job, Tony. I mean, where are we gonna go? We've gotta get out of here. I know a place to hide. It's a bookstore. Hardly anyone goes there. Yeah, I'd do it. Sounds good to me. And that's how we ended up here. So, what about Bruce? Did he ever track you down? No, Bruce never found us. I mean, customers can barely find us. I mean, we've been hanging out in the nonprofit world ever since. Okay. Well, just... I mean, Angel was right. She said no one would find us here. Smile. Well, no. She's not the first person to have said that. Wow. We're cover girls. Well, look at that. Well, that gentleman did a good job. I'm really proud of us. What a great writer. And if you squint in your eyes, I look like Isabella Rossellini. You look great, too. Well, that's the day. I'm gonna close out. Okay, yeah, we've been here an hour. Can I get a ride home? Yeah, of course. You know I drive fast. Punslingers, we come up with pun names for your business. We don't do doggy daycare, hair cutting places, or faux. Oh, Italian restaurant, okay. That sounds good, where are you gonna be located? Okay, get your number. Okay, Jeej, Italian restaurant. Great. Yeah, we have Italian food, yes we do. Should be a good one. All right. Food, all right, so, what do you got, Jeej? You know, it could be construed as controversial, but it's a great restaurant name, Planned Pizza Hood. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Love it. Um, I thought of pizza, Paul and Mary. Love it. That's good. Ah, oh, thinking... Uh, Let's should we think more on the Italian thing. Venice the Menace? Blah. I mean, it's just... Yeah. Uh, yeah. I like it. I like the groan. Crust me? Like, trust me? Out of Parm's way. Oh. Right? That's really terrible. Yeah. I've got one. What about, uh, Spaghetti Museum? Spaghetti Museum? Is that, is that a pun? Lord of the Pots, Pasta Rings. How about that? Wait, what was it again? Lord of uh, the movie is The Hobbit. Okay, I've got a movie one. Five Easy Pizzas. Ah. Does this work for anyone? E.T. Phone Rome? Ugh, that's a, that's a full groan. And then, if for some reason there's a whole thing with the rights to E.T., E.T. E.T. Phone Rome. I love it. Yeah, I can see my eyes are rolling in the back of my head on Good. that one. Oh. Okay. Let's put a pin in that, guys. Hold on. Penslingers, this is Gigi. How may I help you? Okay, we'll get back to you. Thank you very much. Guys, optometrist on division. Great. How about lenses me your ears? Oh, I like it. It's stupid? It's very stupid. I got a fun one. TGI frame days. Oh, that's so dumb. Thank well, you. Just, we just put them down and just go back over and pick out the, the ones that are, that are the best sounding. I mean, that's the idea. Mm-hmm. Okay, what about spectacular? Spectacular, oh, that brother. sounds good. I'm shaking my head, and I love it. Pros and contacts. A side order of French four eyes. 
French I like fries. it. All of the ideas were good, you know, but I just, I couldn't, uh, I'm just sorry I couldn't help you guys a, lot, a little bit more than I did. You, you can't blame yourself because we are a group. I really like a side order of French fries. Yeah, that's, that's good. Pun slingers, we come up with puns for your business. Yeah, yes, sir. Certainly. By when? R right away. Oh, what was that about? That was the United States. What is it they want? They want a pun. They want us to do a pun for the United States? The name? The name. Let's just have fun with it and see what happens. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of Americana. Smooth movers. Come on in. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? It's about five rooms in the house. Great. Two bathrooms and... The majority of the work is pretty much done. And you have the keys to the new place and everything? You're all set to go? Oh, yeah. Everything's ready. Just ready to... Get out of here. Okay. Perfect. That's good. Got everything all set. All right, great. Right. right. So you guys can just pull your, your truck up front and we can get started. Oh, we're right there. Yep. We got a great spot. We do everything by bicycle. Yep. Your bike movers. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same as a car. It's just that it's actually more efficient mm -hmm. and in, in some ways much faster. And it's environmentally friendly. Smooth movers. Okay. So the two O's, that's like the bicycles. Right. Yeah. That one's an upside down one, but that's mm -hmm. like... If we were to expand and go around the world, there'd be bicycles on the other side of the world. Yeah, if we were moving in Australia, right. in the Southern Hemisphere. Yeah. yeah, I didn't get that over the phone. Um, we can go like right through red lights. Mm -hmm. It's like much, much faster. Like you go through red lights with people's stuff? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're going to, all the couch, everything, everything goes? Yeah, I mean, there's a big bookshelf right behind you. Oh, you want that moved? Yeah, you yeah, know, I, I need everything moved from, from this place to the place I'm moving to. Okay. okay, so the bigger stuff too, the chair. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to go do some... Some work upstairs. Okay, before you go, this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-twenty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty
Don't cry. Okay. Hey, Jill. Oh, hi. Big day yesterday. I thought that the two o'clock... You know can you step outside with me for a second? Can you step outside with me for a second? Can you step outside with me for a second? Can you step outside with me for a second? Is that my pen? Um, where did you get that? <sighs> did she say me? Did she say me? Step outside with me for a second. Step outside with me for a second. I'm sorry. For what? I don't know. I wanted to ask you. Um, has anyone ever told you that you look like Cheryl Crow? Oh. Here you guys are. Meeting's been moved up an hour. Second floor conference room in 15 minutes. Great energy. Let's get back to work. All right. Hey. Let's have a good week. Yeah. Uh, Jill, would you mind hanging back for just a moment, please? Hang back for just a moment. Hang back for just a moment. Jill, 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 just say it in front of everybody, because I can't take it anymore. So just say whatever it is that you, you have to say. Well, I just wanted to say that I got the, the hair plugs that you recommended. And I just wanted to know what you thought of them. Well, I think they're great. questions on my website uh, about how I get this body. Well, let me tell you. I eat bananas. Banana. Banana. Yeah. banana. What I do is I eat about 71 bananas a day. That's beautiful. Show me your abs. Look at those abs. I am telling you, I didn't always look like this. Messy. Okay, okay, okay. This is easy to make. All you have to do is buy bananas and peel them, right? Everyone knows how to do that. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Hey, we're getting pizza. You in? Oh, no, thanks. I got my bananas. Supposed to be good for your abs. Well, good for you. Thanks. <sighs> Ted? Yeah? What's the longest you've ever gone without making a... Number two? Uh, uh, 10, 12 hours, maybe? Why? I want to issue a retraction on the banana diet. Anyone at all is following it. Please stop immediately. I just got out of the hospital. Uh, I basically had a potassium plug in my colon. The evacuation process was very loud, and uh, I wish, in retrospect, that I had a more soundproof bathroom. Well, they called because, uh, you know, I'm just very private person and just the thought of all my co-workers uh, <clears throat> being able to hear yeah. my farts. Yeah, mm -hmm. or squirts, or flappers. Flippers. Or kind of... Flippers. Yeah. yeah. How did you hear of Take a Shh? Well, I've been on a banana diet um, for about nine straight days now. We have worked with a lot of people on this diet. Bananas? Oh, yes. We just did a private plane. Wonderful. <laughs> The sound is going to be very difficult to hold in, especially with the wooden door like this with slats. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's the first thing we want to attack. <laughs> See, if I'm a sound wave, I'm just going to go to that cubicle. I don't care. Just go wherever I like. And it hovers. <laughs> Can you hear me? Not now. No, not now. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Who's paying for this? Me. No, I, that just seems unfair. I, Everybody I here. Can. Would you mind chipping in maybe $20, $50, because Miss Paltz here. Platts? Platts here wants to be private and keep the sound coming out of this bathroom. I'm going to step this. Guys, everyone, it's not fair for her to pay for the whole thing just because she went on a banana diet. This is it. 
Yay, abs. You're beautiful. Hey, where are you going? Oh, I have that work dinner tonight. I thought we were going to watch movies tonight. Sweetie, I told you about it last week. I'm taking clients to Toro Bravo. Ah, all right. Well, I'll just hang out and do whatever then. You know what? Please, this time, don't just watch a bunch of YouTube videos and then fall asleep with your clothes on and all the lights on in the house. Doug. That's it. I'm calling a sitter. Oh, come on. Hi. Hi. You must be from the service. I am. Great. Come on in. Thank you for coming so last minute. Quite all right. Um, so Doug's going to want to drink beer tonight. I would really prefer if he didn't have more than two. All right. Is he allowed to have a snack with his beer? He is, but make sure he eats something healthy, because when I'm not here, he just wants to eat cereal all night. All right. Yeah. And, um, oh, here's Doug. Hi. Um, he's allowed mm -hmm. to watch TV. Uh, he loves reality shows about logging or fishing. Um, but if he starts just staring at the on-demand screen, that's when it's time to turn it off. Okay. Because what that leads to is him on IMDb, and he does a lot of user comments for movies okay. that have not come out yet. And then it's just downhill from there. Mm -hmm. So that's what we want to okay. try to avoid. But you know what? Make yourself at home. I should be home around midnight. I'd like him to go down around 11.30. Got it. Okay, great. My name's Doug. I'm Ellen. I'll be helping you out tonight. Okay. Okay. I have to go. Bye, sweetie. Love you. All right. Bye, guys. Have bye. fun. Bye. We will. Uh, I don't need that much guidance. If you want, you can just camp out on the, on the couch. I'll do my thing. You can do your thing. But I'm here to help you do your thing. The whole thing about the beers, I'm allowed to have more than four. Oh, let's see how you do with one and then maybe another, okay? Okay, buddy Rich, drum solo's over. Well, I, I own this house, I, I own these drums. I should be able to play what I want to play. Can do I, do I need half? to take the drumsticks? No, you don't. Imagine me on stage with a huge crowd. Mm-hmm. Great, get ready to do autographs. Come on. The front row? Are you in the front row? Are you in the front row? Did you get my rosies? Thank you! Thank you! You're welcome. What's this? What's this? I'm an outlaw, and the government has my family, so I have to kill another outlaw. No, you won't. I want you to start putting your PJs on right now. Turn oh, out this television. On. Come on, we're going to hit the hay, mister. It's oh, now I'm dead. Now they killed me. I've got to start at the beginning of this mission again. Your family will still be in trouble tomorrow, I promise. God. So I have to start at the beginning of the mission tomorrow. Yes? Do you have your PJs on? Did you brush your teeth? No. Huh. I don't know if I can share this yummy red ale beer with you then. What do you mean? See? Oh, you do have beer. I sure do. So, how cool are you? Have you got any ink? Do I have any ink? No, yeah. I've never gotten any ink. I do. Thank you you want to see it? Yeah. You going to be good for the rest of the night? Yes, yeah, I probably. All right, then. Whoa! An Academy Award. Yeah, and I deserve it. That's amazing. Cheers. To your tattoo. To your future tattoo. Drink <laughs> up. All right. I won't tell Claire. And then I bet that's exactly the time they decided they're going to have a tunnel. They're not building a damn tunnel to anywhere. I know. <laughs> Especially if it doesn't have an opening on the end. No. It's it's really bad. Bad. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> oh, okay. Typical. Yeah. All righty. Shh. Come on. That's a good boy. Ellen? Ellen. Oh. I'm sorry I'm late. It's okay. What time did he go down? About 11.30ish. Oh, great. That's my guy. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much. Let's get you all squared away. Okay. Thank you. We'll see you again. Good night. Okay, good night. Uh. What is up with this beer? All right, Jenna. Well, we are set. 
Would you care for some musical accompaniment while you wait? Sure. Okay. Thank you. Check one, two, check. Check one. Uh, where are the roving singles? Our roadie is uh, not here today. This is called uh, Tunnel Vision. Too. Just, We're so sorry. It's just not working for me. I, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I got you. Need to be able to relax and breathe. We paid for it, so we just—it's part of the ambiance. So this is called a uh, border patrol. We had a show in Winnipeg. That's when we were still together. We were seriously dating. The first long-term relationship for me. But then there's that thing where it just switches over, and all of a sudden. <laughs> He goes, um, is there a reason you're telling me about what socks you're gonna wear? With neon? like, where where did we get? How did we get are, here? Are you gonna play? I'm sorry, we are yep. the song. This is just an intro to this. It's the story of how the song got written. One, two, three, four. I can't stand it anymore. Th th that's enough. Stop. I'm sorry. But a little quieter. Absolutely. It's quiet. like. Every time you hit a, a high note, it just, it feels like it drives the needle right into my back. It hurts. Hey, this is called uh, Puddle Falls. Okay. Shh. Fall asleep. Fall asleep. Fall asleep. Jenna. We want you to hear something. Jenna. Sorry, sorry. Jenna. There's one more part to the song. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Just, there's a, CDs out there? And they're not labeled, but that has our music on it. They look like blank CDs. Just make sure to get a magic marker at home and uh, write the roving singles on it. You know Jenna. What? Had a dream of my grandfather and his wooden chair. Can you turn down the guitar, please? Challenger two, less the barn. We're not going to use any mics. Yeah, we don't want to harm any insects. Should have done that. No mics. Hey Jay, I feel like you're a little bit loud. Uh huh. Maybe if you just move back a little bit. Yeah. Okay. It's a good move. What's she gonna play?
Congratulations. You've won one free ticket to the two. Bet art, good walls. Uh, we provide uh, art to coffee shops only. Oh, yes, it is very bad. I assure you. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Gigi? Yeah, Phil. Uh, got an order from a uh, new coffee shop opening up on uh, Hawthorne. Great. So uh, they got about 500 square feet of space and uh, needs those walls filled with some bad art. So let's see what we got. Let's uh, do it. How about this? It's horrible. I love it. Right? Really boring. Can't even tell what side it goes on. A blurry dog? That's pretty bad. The composition's no good. I would say throw it on. All right. Appreciate your honesty, always. Yeah, I have something. What? You know, that's like student photography. That's horrible. Black man sitting, looking? Yeah, but I want it in black and white. Oh. There's right. the one. Although we could do a double. Yeah. Brothers, twins. Yeah, I like that. Okay. I love this. Oh, yeah. Construction? I mean, that says... Construction. I was just thinking that exact same word. I was saying it, too, at the same time. Why don't we go crazy and have some forlorn, red-headed women? I think she's quite sad. Is she inside or outside? She's both. So there's, a, there's it's nighttime, and they built a doorway. Great. We should check with Sean. He just came back from an art fair. Hey, Sean. Yep. Uh, we got a new uh, coffee shop opening up. Oh, on great. Yeah, I heard. So. I heard the whole thing. I heard you guys talking. Great. You need some help? Yeah. Mind coming over? Sure. You guys got a lot of bad stuff there, but you know what would make it worse? Huh. Music. Stuff with music. This one's pretty bad. What is that, a guitar? That sounds coming from the sun. Oh, so it's not from the guitar? Nope. Let me think of what's in my stash. Hold on one second. What about this one, guys? What is that? Well, it's a really bad painting of a man but his head is a mug. Like humor in paintings, that's yeah. awful. Yes or that's, no? Yes. yes. So that's many levels of bad. Okay. If this is the bathroom, where's the bathroom? Espresso machine. Espresso. Front door. Back wall. Does this look like a wall to you? I think we're good. I mean, maybe this is like this. And this is, hold on. I wonder if Barista is here. Red haired lady's over here. Can I have blah, blah, blah? Turn around looking for my table. My friend is here. I'm waving. Let's put it all down for a second. I feel like there. it's one of the worst collections we've put together in a long time. I agree. I think we're close. I don't think we've nailed it yet, guys. I think we're close, and I don't think we've nailed it yet, guys. Did you just say that? Yeah. You guys, I think, I think we're pretty close, but we're just not. We haven't nailed it. Mm -hmm. I, mean, we're I like, want it to be good. I want it to be bad. Precisely. I know. Got it. Guess what came in the other day? Wow. Is it Macy? Macy, Macy Gray? Gray? Um, I think... I think it's the champion. It's Muhammad Ali. Ali? This is what's gonna fit. Yeah, I think... This is it. That's it. Excuse me. Uh, I had a question. How much is that painting? You know that one, Sherman Helmsley? Yeah. So anyway, yeah it, yeah, it was actually excellent. It was like, it was one of the best meals I've had in, in Portland. Oh, actually, I'm trying to place an order. Yeah, let's take two decafs. You want a decaf? You want a decaf, Tingle? Yeah! Welcome. And thank you for coming to the meeting of baristas and coffee shop workers throughout the city. We hereby begin a manifesto against customers and management. And these rules need to protect us as the artists that we are. Just off the bat, one rule I can come up with is no talking when you come up to the counter. Yeah. Okay, I had a couple of idiots walk up to the counter the other day while I'm trying to sit there and look at them and they're yapping away. Rule number one, no chatter at counter. Uh, no bathroom use before you order. Don't even knock on the bathroom door. Yeah, of course there's someone in there taking a huge shit. We make coffee. Thank you. Not selling out, man. Also, you know what's another good rule? No questions. Yeah. What's good here? Yeah, you know what's not good here? You! What? what? Oh, oh, hey! No, 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 no. Hey! Hey! Customer! Hey! Okay, well, just me. The be customer, me. not you. Be clear about that. It's not what we're here for. I apologize. I meant in general, the customer. You! That's another thing. Do we have anything sweet? 
No, we've just got these one boring little square scony things. You understand fresh baked goods over there? Leave it to the bakeries, friend. Or are you not a friend? He's fine. I can vouch for him. Next, I think we can all agree. Absolutely no cell phones. No cell phones. Yeah, you know what? Shut your mouth! Me? Why me? Hey! Why do I have to shut my mouth? I want to speak! We're here to speak! All of us! No, man, I'm... I was talking about the customers. Oh. I thought because you're looking in my direction and you were raising your voice, that was about me. No, it wasn't. I was, I was representing the customer. I was a sort of figurative representation nothing, of a... Nothing to do gotcha. with you. Gotcha. Maybe we should be more clear on that. No, that's fine. Let's get back to these rules. I'm not going to do that uniform thing. You think... He, you think you're unique? Whatever. Go ahead and look like everybody else in every other coffee shop apron boy. Hey, you know the rules. No personal literature or signage. So why don't I just take that from you? There we go. Also, the bathrooms are out of toilet paper. You could look into that for me. Thanks, Daniel. Julia. Oh, hi, Mr. Cragen. Uh, just call me Cragen. Welcome. Okay, Cragen. You excited for your first day? I am. You ready to make some ads and commercials? Yeah. Yeah, we are too. I was telling my colleague about you and literally, without skipping a beat, he was like through the roof, flipping out. Wow, that's Like so he couldn't stop gushing about you. Hey, um, we've got a meeting in like five minutes. Uh this meeting is huge. Okay, wait, but how do I get up there? Cragen? Whoa. Hey, nice catch. We're ordering discs for the whole office. What's your size? Size? Julia. Wait, what? Here. Oh, hey. Did you get turned around? Yeah. You need your GPS? Huh. <laughs> uh, the meeting's like in five minutes, in the basket. Wait, what? In the basket. Um, I don't know what size I am for that. In here. What? Let's go. Hey, what are we doing? I sign this here. This is for you. Happy birthday. Thank you. That means so much to me. <laughs> hey, happy birthday. I gotta go. Thank you so much. Who was that? Ah, jeez. Hey, we're mood showering. We hit you with the ball and you tell us the first thing that comes to mind about sportswear. Oh, God. Julia, Julia. Hey, Cragen. The meeting's starting soon. Come on out. Okay, yeah. Take I'll... the elevator. Just come meet me. <laughs> hey, I'm doing a video for my blog. What's your favorite burger hey, in North Carolina? Is it okay if I take your photo? Julia. Craigan, oh, I'm trying. Come on. Uh, wait. Craigan. Uh, hey. Craigan. Craigan. Julia. Craigan. Hey, come play your guitar with us. It's all uh, good. It's Tucker's birthday. Party's about to start. Happy birthday. Craigan. Julia. Craigan. Where's the basket? Hey, you want a break? Craigan. Oh, good. Good job. I'll meet you over here. You made it. I did. It took a while, huh? Yeah. You having too much fun? Hmm. Come on. Julia. What? I just wanted to tell you that I did what you said. Sorry? I stayed cool. Like you wrote on the card? Oh, right. Okay, yeah. Who came up with that? Simple and so meaningful. Like, you know, it's like remaining cool. Really good. She's creative. I know, I can tell. So, stay cool. <laughs> yeah, you too. You already are. Okay, okay. I'll stay cool too. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> She's ribbing me, by the way. That's just, that's how we can meet each other. Uh, you're gonna need these. What for? We'll see. Hey, what's happening? Uh, it's gonna be okay. Julia, do you have any ideas right off the bat? Dear 
dear Kim, I was ever so looking forward to spending the summer with you in Portland. However, I recently became very ill and have had to seek refuge at the Ferndale Healing and Retreat Center. I entrust you with the house. The keys are under the mat. Feel free to take any room of your choosing. Help yourself to anything in the kitchen. And there's cable TV in the bedroom upstairs. Have fun this summer. Love, Aunt Jane. Sitting pills. Who's there? Humans were designed to sit. What? Wow. It takes years off your life. You read it in the New York Times. <laughs> Standing's bad for you, too. We heard it. On NPR. NPR. <laughs> Stretching. Who's there? Stretching's overrated. They did a recent study. I read it in the New York Times. I read an article. You're supposed to exercise first thing in the morning. No, no. That's that's because it's not effective. You need to do it at night. You should read up on it. It's a myth that drinking water when you exercise is good for you. You can drown in electrolytes. Atlantic Monthly, June 12th, 2011. No, no. The electrolytes might be good for you. Too many electrolytes and your body can literally... You can never have enough electrolytes. Yes, you can. You, you can. can. Answer the phone. Answer the phone. You can't drown in electrolytes. Absolutely you can. can. Hello? Seven, three, two, K, six. Aunt Jean? Is that you? Seven, three, two, K, six. Uh, uh, Aunt Jean? Uh, Are you okay? Sleep kills. So does lack of sleep. No! Stop! Don't confuse me! Light bulbs are about for your eyes! Stop it! The toast sound is back for your teeth. teeth! What? Wow. It's too bad. She had a good life. Oh, hey. Hey. How you doing? Can I try it out now? Because I'm a ghost now, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure, go ahead. All right. Um... Drinking too much fruit juice can lead to diabetes. Uh, I mean, you, you want a reference. I, I read it, you know, I just read. Or, yeah. Oh. But I, kind of a vague source. Okay, I feel like I can, I can do this. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go inside. You cold? I'm freezing. Okay. <laughs> Probably go through the wall. All right. It's nice to meet you. You too. Well, this is me. All right. Well, I had a really great time. Me too. All right. Bye. I'll talk to you tomorrow or something. Okay. okay. Can I help you? I'm a date fact checker. I'm here to corroborate some of the evidence you presented at the dinner meeting. Right around the appetizers, you guys started talking about the indie hit Juno. Oh, uh, yeah. She said she hated it. Yeah, that's right. I remember and that. you said, yeah, that movie is insufferable pap. What I have here is some MySpace bulletins you sent out in 2007. You said you ordered a hamburger phone right away. I remember at the time when it came out, I enjoyed it. So which is it? I love the movie, and then tonight, as we were talking, maybe she had a point in the reason that she, sure. she didn't. How about her? Was she being honest? She's not on deposition here. Well, you said that your favorite show is Breaking Bad, when in reality, you've never seen an episode, and you're still catching up on True Blood. And? Do you know Breaking Bad? What it represents in television is pretty cool. All right, great. Um, you told her- Does she not want to date me? She likes you, if she doesn't like you- Then what's the problem? Bro, you know how women are, right? They're like, oh, don't lie to me. 
Miss Armisen? Yes? Why are you calling my mom? Around the second course, Fred claimed that he had a pretty messed up childhood. Is that accurate? <sighs> I've never heard that before. Fred, is that true? They didn't support my music. They bought you a drum kit. I have the receipt right here. I love you, Freddy. Can, can I say one thing about my date? Because I think she's a very special person. I think she's got a great sense of humor. I think she's very funny. Okay, well, that was not a question or anything. I don't know why you said that. I'm actually gonna stop. Rewind. You can't do that. Record over that. Please do not reference that anymore because it's already gone. During dessert, the band TV on the radio came up and you stated that you know those guys? Yeah, TV on the radio. Tunde? You could call a to time Hey! Hey. Hey, nice to meet you. No! Not meet you, I've, I've, we've, we've, whoops. Would you say you're friends with this man? God, no, no. Remember we took all those pictures together? Thank you, Tunde, that's enough. Could you go wait in the car, please? He's the coolest, man. He's like, awesome dude. He just is one of those guys, you know, who like, you're like, oh, if I want to do this, I'll go with Tunde. Great. All right, well, you have come up with a score just above a sex grifter, but not dangerous. Do I ask you? For another date, how does this work? Weirdly, you do ask me, and I'll okay. convey the message to her. Thank you. Oh, no problem. I just love spicy food. Do you I food? love spicy food. You do? I mean, actually, I don't love spicy food because it burns my tongue. I prefer mine. Oh, okay. I, I, just forget it. I, I'm really sorry. I can't do this. I, you know, I just, I want someone who accepts me for the kind of, like, fake at first a little bit, but then gets gradually more and more honest as the relationship goes on kind of guy that I am. Thank you, ma'am. That actually checks out. All right, downtown parking. This should not be a problem for me because I practically grew up downtown. We both did. You know something? I've never paid full price for a parking spot. I can actually feel the street, and I know where not to park, where to park. I'm just not one of those people who just goes into a lot or pays some valet guy. I mean, I just... Ah, there's one. Hydrant. Oh, damn. Employee parking, visitor parking. And a meter? That's bike parking. Also, church only. That's religious discrimination. Half an hour, thirteen dollars evening. Money back. What? Fifty-five. Oh. No, it is. If it adds up to fifty-five dollars. Come on. No but, thanks. Sorry, buddy. <gasps> yes. Spot. There's a spot. Oh, it's a fifteen-minute limit. Can you go and get all our downtown stuff done in time? Okay, fifteen minutes. Let's, let's go. Hurry, Dave. We only have fifteen minutes. Art museum. That's great. Landscape. Very rich colors, green, blue, white. Exposition, pre and post industrialization. I understand it. Do you understand? I totally do. Great, wonderful. Got it, see it, uh huh, get it. We just have 10 more minutes. Wait, we have time to see my cousin's baby. Let's do it. Let's go. Hi, Oh, congratulations on your baby. Look, oh, what a cutie. Oh, she's oh that's cute. so nice. She looks just like you. She has your eyes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> nice baby. You know what? We have three more minutes. Oh my god, the molecular gastronomy restaurant. Let's go. go. Waiter. What is that, ice cream? I think it's foam. Mm, it tastes like tacos. I'll never think of food the same way again. We should have a molecular Thanksgiving. The turkey will look like a uh, ice cream sundae. It will take up so much less room on the table. Like a science fiction movie. I will wear silver. I will wear clear. Let's go. Thank you. Ah, oh, that was delicious. <sighs> Two more minutes! Oh, Glenn's in the hospital. Oh, wow, Glenn, how are you feeling? Glenn, I'm so sorry. How's the food here? <laughs> Not that great? Get better, okay? Woo! You know what? We have 45 more seconds. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? They made it. Hi, I'm Bryce Shivers. And I'm Lisa Eversman. We've come upon some tough times. Money's running low. It's kind of a long story. Not my fault. But we figured out a solution. Rent it out. You can rent out anything. Extra bedroom? <laughs> rent it out. Have a car? Rent it out. Just like New York City. You can rent out everything. Anything. Anyone. Isn't that kind of like prostitution? Not when it's from a cute website. Welcome to the cool, crisp, clean website of Rent It Out. Very, very simple. This new economy is so fun. We've rented everything out. Got room in your fridge? Rent, rent it, it out. out. What a cool site. My member name is Bryce. Why don't you tell me your password? Are you sure? No, no, yeah, go ahead. Here's his password. Shivers1. Got a couch? Rent it out. Rent it out. Have an extra toothbrush? Rent it out.
No toupee. All right. I'm not a taxi driver. I'm just a girl with a car, so I rent it out. He's a total stranger. I feel completely safe. We're living on our roof now. It's the only space available. Hey, if you're gonna rent it out, out. you have to make sure that you hey. sign the Are you... sheet down. Rent it. Out. He's supposed to say out. So, out. No, no, don't walk out. Today I'm cleaning someone else's kitchen. How did you end up in that situation? I said that I could mop and some lady chose me. Wow. Ow. There's no one less skilled at this than me. Yeah, but you're the one who signed up to do it. These people, they're basically just hiring like art students to come and like watch their kids and like mop their floors. <gasps> Those kids. Thank you. Yes, Tony? It's that time of the month again. Not for me, it's not. Uh, no, I, I meant paying the rent. That's what I used to call it, paying the rent. And believe me, I haven't paid the rent in a long time. Candace, we need to figure out a way to making the rent at this point. Hmm. Car wash, car wash. We need to make our rent. <laughs> Don't beep. You want us to wash your bike? Stop. Right here. Well, don't slow down and drive off. Oh, good. Hi, sir. Hi. Just pull around or? Yeah, yeah right around back now. There. Okay. Okay, Seth, so would you like your car today or tomorrow? Today. Okay, so this is a rush job for today. Do you want a ding-dong wickety window? Or a rim trim, keep it slim? Or we also do a light, bright tire and tootie? Okay. Do you want a light, bright tire and tootie? I just said, yeah. I don't overhear everything. Sorry, yes, I would it's like It's not that. my business. Okay. Okay, before we go inside the car, we need to know, and you've got to be truthful about this, do you have a dog in the car? No. Has there ever been a dog in the car? I, yes, I'm going to say yes. How many dogs are in the car right now? No dogs are in the car right now. Is there a dog in the trunk? No, there's no. No. Are you sure? Yes. Whereabouts are you from? Portland. Oregon. Yeah. Oh, nice. I work in real estate. Uh, we're kind of in real estate business. Real estate of the mind. We take a vacant space in someone's head and we fill it with literature. That's beautiful, Tony. That's beautiful. You know, you guys are doing a really great job. God, it really looks great. I mean, you guys have all the tools, uh, the buckets and the hoses and the sponges. I mean, what were you expecting? Like a Playboy car wash? No, I just I just meant that... Like a tiny little triangle of a bikini with some bottom cleavage? You, you think we're just going to be giggling and laughing for no reason and, like, rock music playing and we're going to be in slow motion, like... That the sponge is going to be dripping down my face? That's what you're imagining right now? Just a slow, wet drip? No. When you do that with your hands, I can feel them right on me. Thanks, guys. Great job. Candace, how did you do? $12. That's great. Only 100 more car washes and we can pay the rent. Yay! Yay! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Ow. there's water in my ear. Ah, I've got water in my vagina. <sighs> hey, so my friend has extra tickets to the Jay-Z concert tomorrow. You, you want to go? Oh, yeah, that sounds great. That sounds really fun. Yeah, I think it will be. Are you going to get that? Yes. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Stop the track. This is the part of the show I like to pick someone out of the audience so they can tell me about the favorite moment in hip hop history. How about this Rick Moranis looking dude over here? Um. Say something. It uh, started in LA. Fred, come on. Should we all answer together? There's, there were many hits. Wait, 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 wait. Carrie. Mm. Carrie, wake up. What's wrong? I think I missed hip hop. What do you mean? Just pass me by. Fred, hip hop's been big for like 25 years. I can't go to that show. Yeah, you can. I don't want to be made the fool. We have like 14 hours till the show starts. I can get you ready, I can teach you. How? It was mostly happening in, in New York City, okay? Like who? Who is that? Who did they have back then? Grandmaster Flash, Sugar Hill Gang. And were they really a gang? They were a group. So was Sir Mix-a-Lot in the Wu-Tang Clan? Clan. Clan. 
Are, are, there's no G. Wu Tang Clan. Wu Tang Clan. Is this a fad or is this here to stay? Hip hop. I know. Understand that like it's won Grammys, right? Young MC won a Grammy. Okay, Young MC. So there's a Grammy there. So it's Grammy winning music, right? Was... What's Suge Knight? Okay. Why don't you tell me what you remember about East Coast versus West Coast? Uh, Queen Latifah is against the Two Life Crew. Are they're too, like they're just cursing so much. And then the Fat Boys are just like we're the, kind of the fattest guys around. No, no, the Notorious Big's like I'm kind of a little fatter. Okay, name the members of the Wu Tang Clan. Chuck D's Public Enemy. So Wu Tang Clan is just Clan. DZA. Dizzy. ODB? Yes, ODB. What does that stand for? On the... Uh, Old, dirty... Black man. <laughs> okay, so Lil Wayne, The Carter, that's like a four-part series of albums. Right. You okay? A lot, of, a lot of cursing. No, it's okay. This guy's really mad. Oh, this is Dirty South, because it sounds pretty dirty. You're going to be so ready for the show. There's like a little play going on. Oh, sometimes they do skits in between songs. Order in the court. It sounds like it's pretty simplistic, so this is kind of old school. All right, all right. I think I got it. Tell me I'm hot and tell me I'm mixed. If I wasn't so full of myself, hold up, hold up. Stop the track, it's your boy. This the part of the show I like to pick someone out of the audience so they can tell me about the favorite moment in hip hop history. What about you over there? New York City, 1977. Yo, 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 Rick Moranis, hold up one second, man. I heard what you said in there. That kind of like, it blew my mind. Well, it's just history, you know, it's just there. I just accessed it, that's all. That's easy for you to say you're a hip hop mastermind. Thank you, brother. Wow, you're very nice. That's yeah. so cool. Nice job, Rick Moranis. Can you get some tapas? You know, I missed the whole tapas craze. Oh, okay, I'll tell you all about it. Okay. I think once we got the clock on right there. Um, should we go inside? I feel like I just felt the teeniest drop of rain. Oh, okay. We'll just get the box there. Ow! Ow! What, 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 what happened? Don't move. Hun, I'm not okay. It's my no, ankle. Wait. This feels pretty bad. I love you. I think we should probably go to the hospital. Can, can, can you drive? No, I can't drive. This is my driving foot. You want me to call your mom? My mom lives in Seattle. It's really hurting, Peter. Please. I need, I'm going to need you to drive. Okay. Am I okay? Peter, please go. Some bicycle's coming, hold on. Peter, go. Okay. Peter, go. Peter. I am, I am. Oh, this car wants to go through. I'm gonna oh my back. God, please. I'm letting him through. Peter, I need you to man up right I now. I am, I am. Wait, let me look at the GPS. Put your phone down and drive the car. Left? Right, right. Put left. your phone down and drive. This is an emergency. Okay. There's a pedestrian there. Peter, please go. What's the speed limit here? You're going zero right now. We're going slower than a bicycle. I, I, I don't want to be a lead foot. Have you ever heard that insult? Stop the car. I'm limping faster than you're driving. Man. I will meet you at the hospital. Don't look at me right now. Look at the road. It's green, please go. Peter, it's a green light. Peter, make the turn, make the turn. Wait, it's not yet turn! I have to wait, it's red again. Peter, just make a right on red. You can do that? Peter, please. I'm peeking out, peeking out, peeking Stop peeking out. out. Peeking That's not out. a term. That's peeking not a term. Out. Peeking out. Please, Peter, go! Peter, turn. Turn this car. Why is everyone beeping and they just made a face at me? I'm sorry. Please, please go. My ankle hurts so bad and you're driving like a fing pussy. I love you, and you're hurting me right now. Oh, look at these people. Peter, it's a critical mass. We can't go through. They're protesting cars. Turn around. Bicycle rights. We're not going anywhere. Get out of the car and tell them we have an emergency, and we need to get through. Uh, my, 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 uh. I'm calling 911. I'm just saying, I, I, I my, my wife, and she, Hurt her ankle, and I'm just trying to go two streets down. I'm okay, thank God. Probably You're everybody. You're taking too long. 
What? We're going to the hospital. See you there. Can I go in the ambulance? Oh my God. You're already done? Yeah. I couldn't make any left turns, so I took rights all the way here. Okay, let's go home, hon. Get in the passenger seat. I'm driving. I love you. KZFY Portland. And 97.2, this is Fizzy. And this is Ziggy. Welcome and good morning. Uh, it's just about the 6 o'clock hour. Wake up! <laughs> <laughs> I woke up this morning. My wife is looking at me. She's like, she's got that belly fat. Come on. She's like, I got the belly fat. I, you know, I'm on Tinder now. What? Yes, I'm giving it a try. Because you can't get a date. Guy, what's wrong with you? You got a girl here. She's looking great. Her hair is looking, I'm talking a blonde. And we need to clean up on aisle six because she is ready to go. I'm sorry, we're talking about slip and slide. Yeah, baby. Let me tell you something else, too. We got a couple of announcements. Louis C.K. coming up at the Hollywood Theater. Louis, call me, by the way. I'm single. I'm going to say it. I'm OK with a little light spanking. Fizzy, did you ever get some of that butt makeup? I, look, I'm a regular guy. I like rock and roll. I like a hot dog and a beer. But it doesn't make sense. Guys, wouldn't you like it if ladies put a little bit of just some blush on some of them butts? <laughs> <laughs> so Louis C.K. at the Hollywood Theater. 17 years since my last drink. I wish I had one every single day. So you guys know how I dropped out of high school to focus on my entrepreneurial endeavors? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We encouraged you. That's why your mom won't speak to us anymore. Well, I have an opportunity that only comes once in a lifetime, yo. Once in a lifetime? I have seen the future. The future comes is strawberry, blueberry, bubblegum, vanilla, vanilla. What am I talking about? E-juice. Ooh. And how do you get to this E-juice, you ask? You vape. Smoking is out. Vaping is in. And there's over 45 million analog smokers in the U.S., but only 2.5 million e-smokers. That means this market has a lot of room to grow. In fact, e-cigarette sales have doubled in the last year, going from this to this. Oh. And all these new vapors, they need a kick-it spot. They need a place to go. And that's where you guys come in. I'd like to be my partners in opening up a vape shop. There's space currently available, and I think that if we don't get in there and start vaping, somebody else will. What do you say? Well, we could move some assets around. Yeah, but we could lose our shirts on this. Yeah. Oh. Or we could make a million dollars. Okay, give it to me. How does an investment of $800 sound? Does giddy up new partner mean anything to you? All right. <laughs> Okay, so what are we gonna call this place? I was thinking the Vaped Crusader. Oh, what about statutory vape? <laughs> Go away. Ow. Cheap and shitty storefront design. How may I help you? Oh, that sounds very shitty. We'll be there later today. What do we got? Another vape store. What? It is seriously planet of the vapes around here. <laughs> We tear all the wood out. We want to get rid of anything that seems natural, authentic. Get rid of everything here, all those bags. Get rid of the espresso machine. Get rid of that. That all goes. Anything all rustic goes. is gone. Anything authentic, anything organic, anything permanent. The lighting is too warm yeah. in here. This is too, I'm feeling too good about this. You know, I want to see my own zits. Like an old thrift store or something, maybe. No, that, that's even too descriptive. That's too kitschy. It should just be like part of an airport that you ignore. Think of hanging out inside a vending machine. A cell phone store. Mm -hmm. or uh... Batteries plus. That's kind of depressing, though. No, no. Also, this is a vape store. Yeah. So we want a carpeting that's going to absorb, and I don't mean mask, but literally just absorb the odor so that when people come in here, they're just overwhelmed. Okay, you want it to be pungent. You Jaundice. Want it to sickly, vomitous. It just, vile. You want it to smell like old bubble gum. Yeah, have you ever huffed an airwick? No. Make sure your bathroom really has got a toilet that's way too high and kind of big. Also, two plungers. Two plungers says it all. And, uh, and you're going to be working here? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't have a job, but it's my shop. Amanda? Yes. Hi there, how are you? Amanda. Amanda. Nice I'm to meet you. Gigi. I'm we, Phil. We spoke on the phone. Yes. We are from Standard Ceremonies, Weddings Division. Cool. Why don't you talk to us? Tell us what's happening. So my fiance and I are, are getting married here 
Memorial Day weekend. I just need a little bit of help planning the ceremony. Well, uh-huh. This seems like a very standard place, kind of forgettable, like a million other weddings. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, um, who is walking you up the aisle? Uh, my dad. Okay, and uh, does he have a bum leg? Is he sort of walking a lopsided, very slow way? Oh, no, my dad is very, very healthy. Oh, really? Well, I think at a wedding, you need someone that's either ill or injured. It's, it's got to seem like an incredible feat that that person is walking at all. <gasps> it walks. Do I just tell my dad to pretend? We don't want any pretending. We could kind of do like a Tanya Harding situation. Oh, I, I'm not sure I feel comfortable with you injuring my father. Let's just say that the muscle in the Achilles tendon is sometimes disconnected during sleep. I don't know, you guys. Most of the time it's reversible. What are you thinking for vows? Oh, um, actually I wrote them. <sighs> Laura. Ever since that first date, I'm already so bored. Which is good. She's giving you a compliment. Yeah. Oh, yes. Now, this is very important. Oh, I have a band already. Can they see it from the drones that we're going to have flying overhead? Zzz. Probably not. You want it to be big enough so your relatives can see it and go, oh, my God. Oh, that's beautiful. So, rice. Now, this is controversial because uh, we know that this kills pigeons. Oh. But pigeons are... Fine. Meant to die. Yeah. They have lifespans. Also, hey, pigeons, why are you eating rice? Mm -hmm. Not your food. Yeah, so do you have someone that you would like as a flower child in your wedding? Yes, I have a niece. Well, we brought you these people. Oh. You want someone who's not able to take command at all so that your guests are like, why did they even get him to do this? OK. Like, like Silas, go walk over that way. Go walk that way. Go over there. You see how he doesn't really take command? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there any way to get a family member in here? I mean, I, I don't know if your niece can pull off stuff like these guys. Uh, probably not. You know, she talks throughout a whole wedding, asking questions the whole mm -hmm. time, like, Is there any more family member? Does she want the money member? Does she want the money member? You don't think that'll steal attention from the ceremony? Oh, it's absolutely going to steal attention. I guess this is my wedding party. Yeah. yeah. All we're doing is not letting anything go to waste. Look, baby food, we can use it as a sauce. Companies throw out perfectly good products. Yes. Americans are wasteful. I don't know why people live any other way. Yeah. There's no reason ever in the world in this time, in this day oh. and age, to buy food. This is a perfectly good watermelon. There's a hair on it. Other than that, uh, that's, I don't know. I mean, we step in some nasty stuff, and then we just get out of there, wash our feet, get out of there, walk down the street. I mean, we're like architects. We have yeah. an eye for detail. We know Garbage. what's good in there, and we know what we can discard. And if it's nasty, shut that thing. Oh, oh, how oh. sweet. So we got a dinner party coming up, and now we invited a bunch of people, all our friends. This is just like a decoration for the dinner party, like a Chinese lantern. People Those, just throw anything out. You know that shirt I have that's missing a sleeve? Yeah. This is a sleeve. You use that as a sleeve? Yeah. Oh, look. Agua. Daniel, that's vinegar. I know. I'm realizing it right now. Oh. Oh, you like that? Oh. You can make something out of there. Yeah. Oh. You came back to life. Wow. Who threw this out? Uh, that's exactly what I was thinking. You know? It's crazy. That looks great on you. Totally works. Oh. Sweet home. It's going to be the best dinner party ever. You know, if they bring extra people and extra friends, oh, that's fine with me. I think we have plenty. Some good friends of ours will be like, why do you always serve this? Get us out of here. This is like the ninth time you've made this for us. We're asking you as friends. Just come on. Please, we'll buy it for you. It's on us. Hey, what time are you coming over? Oh, really? Damn. That's everyone. No one's coming now. <laughs> I don't understand. No, no. Come on. Don't be upset. It's okay. <laughs> No, 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 come nobody's on. coming. You know what we'll do? Let's go for a dive. That'll cheer you up, all right? I saw a new dumpster over by Morrison. All right? I find the toy store. We'll get some kids' games. We'll play those, all right? You did good. Don't worry about this. We'll leave it later. It's nothing, man. It's junk. It's garbage. Daniel, look. Hey. Oh. Yeah. You'll come to our dinner party, right? Oh, such a good boy. Who wants lentil stew? Okay, mm. this is going to be amazing. We are starving. Mm. Mm. It is a curry, lentil, cabbage, cumin stew. So how long are you over by that dumpster?
that's where you hang out. All right. Find a really good place uh, behind the um, Thai place. They said, "Are you guys supposed to be back here?" She goes, "Why are we not supposed to be?" <laughs> It's like a little koala bear. Who would throw something like this away? Aww. Aww. She likes things. To my friends, I say this. Okay, you guys win, but who saved more money? And the answer is really they did because of all the energy and work, but still. Why don't we, why don't I put my card down? Uh, why don't we, here, do you want to just have a look at that? Do you want to put it on, on my card or your... Why, why don't we should... uh, maybe we should call that... The guy that the I can't. I'm not sure. We know a guy who handles these kinds of bills. Hello, everybody. Nina, happy birthday. I'm told we have a situation. Oh, hi. Yeah, I can't figure out the bill. Let's have a look, sweetheart. That's 15 people minus a birthday girl. She's gratis. All right, who had wine? Raise your hand, please. Ten-way split for the wine. Any vegetarians at the table? No meat dishes on your tab. All right, how was the service? Uh, adequate. Could you put that into a number for me? I think it's a quality. Can I get a number? 7.5. We'll call it 18.6%. That leaves the damage at 93.50 each, 82.20 for the veggies, 58.55 for the teetotalers. I I'm going to be paying for my girlfriend. Then double it, 187 even. Excuse me. Yeah, Applebee's? How many in your party? Ciao. Softball team. All right, I got you. OK. Kate is nice and creaky. Yeah. All this food? I, I love it. It's so good. Although, I don't know if I like good food better than bad food, honestly. <gasps> Who throws out cupcakes? Uh, I say let's take some of this home. Uh, do we need a doggy bag? Let's just take the whole can home, baby. Let's just take it. Yeah. All right, ready? Yep. Uh, uh, you're not pushing. Are we pushing or pulling? I'm pushing. I'm pulling. We're rats. This thing is enormous. It, uh, looks like you're pretending to push. Really no, push. pull, pull. <laughs> Jacqueline? Yes? You didn't pull in the garbage can, did you? I did not. I can't find it. Maybe it rolled down the street or something? It wasn't windy or anything, was it? What if one of the neighbors took it? Oh, yeah. See anything? I see a bicycle and a cooler. No trash can. Anything, Vince? No, I just see a rake, some gardening tools. Why don't we just get another one from the sanitation department? Vince, we, we have to solve this. Excuse me. Uh, have you noticed anything strange recently? Anything uh, weird? No. What about this house, Vince? Why is that fence so high and obscuring? It's like they, maybe they take things and hide them? Like our trash can. Ah. 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 The dream of the nineties is alive in Portland. The dream is alive. Hey, check it out. I've been wanting a new drum for a while. That's rad, man. Hey there, guys. 
Hey, do you have a, a dollar? No, I don't have a dollar. I'm a cop. <laughs> You're a cop? Yes. They redesigned our uniforms. <laughs> Gotta get you guys to move on. Ah, uh, you're just pushing us around. Hmm? I no. don't care. Yeah, we'll move on. How am I gonna get this up? There? No, man, just leave it. it. Sounds like trash. Aw. I can. <laughs> okay, sweetheart, tuck in. Here we go. It's a good girl. Get Mr. Bear. So, Madeline, we are gonna try something a little different tonight, okay? We are gonna try sleeping with the lights off. You're old enough to be very, very brave. If you can't sleep, I want you just to grab your colors, coloring books, okay? Do some coloring, all right? Okay. Good girl. Good girl. Night-night. Mm -hmm. Night. Mm -hmm. anything it's hard to see though the bushes and trees there. do you see our trash can oh they have a grill should we get a grill mom honey honey oh hi what's going on i saw something there's two of them i think they're monsters i've never seen anything like it okay it like okay two right, of madeline them. madeline lie down lie down what did i say if you felt afraid what should you do color did you color no okay well then there you go Color me a nice, beautiful picture, okay? I saw You're something. You're so brave. Mm, you are the bravest. Night-night, mm -hmm. sweetheart. I like those windows up there. You know, it reminds me of that necklace I had. It was just like, like that. Oh, the tight one. Yeah, it was like that. Dark. Maybe we should just, if we could just see into the yard, I'm just gonna use the lights on my phone. We could... Oh, that's a great idea. Oh my gosh, she slept in. Oh my goodness. Honey, rise and shine, sweetheart. Honey. Is... Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Honey. We'll get her a nightlight. Hey! Cap, trash can, starboard. Hey, bring it in. Hey, oh, River! Nance? Found my wife. Nance? I'm right here by this black garbage can. Heather Valley talking, but I couldn't find anybody to cow. I'm Bryce. I know. You're Lisa. Are you okay? Uh, Hold up. I'm stopping. That means I'm stopped. Bicycle rights! It's important. No Olympics in Portland! No Olympics in Portland! All right, lean with me. We're getting pretty good at this. One, two, three, four, five, uh... What do we do with this? Does this stay with the house? Uh, no, we just put it on the bike. Does it even belong to her? Yeah, let's take it. All right. Where does this trash can go? That one? I think it's this one. How does this house? Are you sure? Wait, now I'm confused. Well, it's got a skull on it. It probably goes to the scary house. What is it? 
Jacqueline, when did our garbage can go missing? Do you remember that? Right, it was it was before Lugosi was born. It must have been eight years ago. I think this is it. No. It's got to be because there's the skull and remember we painted it on the side. That's exactly it. That's so strange. How would it get back here? It's been so long. It's alive as we are dead. Farewell, Bin. May your spirit as the undead roll around the world for eternity. You roamed around the city and the people came and they threw more trash into you and your burden grew heavier. I have to do a quick thing for the family, sorry. I guess there really is no good way to say goodbye after all these years. So we wish you the best. Well, I like this part of town. Yeah, good neighborhood. There we go. So it's a studio, uh, plenty of room, little kitchenette area. Mm -hmm. Is there a bathroom? Uh, yes, right. Ooh. How much is this place? 1500 a month. <laughs> it just seems like a lot for this small space. Totally understandable. Uh, let's see. I've got another option. Which neighborhood? Any neighborhood you like. Okay. Let's see what I mean. Okay? I got you. What do you think? Oh, the car. Uh-huh. So what would you consider this? Is it like, like bedroom and bathroom wise? One bedroom, one living room. This would be the living room. And your, your bed. And then when you sleep, you just... You know, you could nod off. And then, you know, and then when someone asks you to move, you sort of... Just look at this, how modern. Mmm, we're in the future. Is there a kitchen? Yes, so this, see this um, cup holder? You could put your coffee in there and put your store, if you buy a sandwich, you could put it here or a burrito. People are buying burritos these days. No uh, alcohol on the premises. Very, very important. All right. Remember, your house can kill people. But let's show you the rest. Well, here's something that's really nice. We have a little outdoor shower. Come on! I, I get it. <laughs> but a small, like, stream of water. That... If there's windshield wiper fluid in it as well. So the soap is mixed in? The soap is mixed in. All right. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I like it. It's up to you. And we've got plenty of closet space. You can hang up your clothes there and right over here. And then we've got entertainment. Oh, whoa. <laughs> it's a little awkward looking. Because it's a romance. Feels like an invasion of privacy. Look at that. Crystal clear, really nice, huge screen. Oh, it's very clear. Do you want me to change it? Can you? Yeah. Oh, I love Wachowski movies. I think I'm going to move to a cheaper city. Uh, the next item for discussion is the library lawn. As we all know, it's not great for the environment to have grass. And as this is a public space, we ought to be leading by example. Now, we're on a very limited budget, but we have assembled a list of affordable options for alternative materials. Just wondering, when was this list compiled? Last week at a previous meeting. Oh, well, we didn't get an invitation, so we weren't there. Uh, it was an efficiency thing. Well, I don't know how it's efficient to leave us out of it, because now you have to tell us about the meeting. And we're doing that now. OK, well, before I look at this list, and I haven't looked down at it yet, my suggestion is wood chips. They don't require water. You just chop down a tree, chip away at it, hence the name. OK, if you look at the list, that is our first item on it. Yeah, but I didn't see this list. This came from my own mind. So for the purposes of this meeting, could we let everyone know that it was my idea? But it wasn't. We could put a plaque in to commemorate the fact that he came up with the wood chip idea. Not going to happen. How about glass marbles? They would not only be environmentally friendly, but they would long outlast the wood chips. I loved marbles as a kid. When you think of kids playing, that's what they're playing. Marbles. I think it's the reason they play hooky from school. I think video games when I think kids today. You said that we have a limited budget. We're going to put video games on the lawn? No, I'm just How do we charge them? Instead of a lawn, it could just be an extra lane for the freeway. You want another lane of the highway right up next to the building? Yes, so we reduce traffic and we get rid of this lawn. But we're 10 blocks from the highway. Soon we'll be zero blocks. Imagine that. 
people showing up at this library and they're, they, and is it library or library? Library. Library. But library sounds so right. That's what's so misleading about it. No, it makes you sound like you're 20% uh, less intelligent. There's no reason to raise your voice. I, I didn't raise my voice. You screamed into my ear. I, ha I haven't moved, have I? I haven't seen you move. I'm just trying to be helpful. I don't give a shit about the library. I think I give a shit. But you guys wanted to have this meeting. You want these suggestions? I have suggestions. I have a suggestion. Ma'am. Mm. Why don't you two move to Seattle? I've been suggesting for years that Malcolm moved to Seattle. Well, one thing that we all do agree on is that books are stupid. I've been thinking that I would really like to get a rug. Just like a, a crappy rug from like a secondhand store? Like a nice rug. Wow. Are you okay? I don't mean to... No, I'm just... I mean, should we get married first? My parents were married when they got their first drug. Were yours? Oh, yes. But it's a different time. I mean, I'm ready if you are. I, I think I am, and you're the person I want to get a rug with. Oh, my God. This is crazy. <laughs> uh, screw it. Yeah, I love you. I love you. Let's get a rug. Let's get a rug. Oh, white. I like this one. That's something, right? It's yeah, a beautiful it's... rug, isn't it? Yeah. I've been down there to the operation. It's pretty phenomenal. So how much is this one? Three. hundred. Thousand. Three thousand dollars? Mm-hmm. For this? Yeah, the, the white one there. Wow. Is there anything in the sort of three hundred dollar range? Uh, we have, you know, a doormat that we carry. I feel like this is what nice rugs cost. Mm -hmm. I want to bring something into our home that we can love and cherish. And I feel like you do too. I feel I like do, you'd be yeah. such a good rug owner. When I see you at other people's houses with their rugs, I just, I know how good you're gonna be with this one. Mm. Um, let's just do it. Do you wanna look at paperwork right now? Yes. Okay, thank sure. you. Yeah, let's get you started. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Hey. Hey, dude, I need coffee. Okay, I'll go make you some. Oh, oh hold on, uh, please take off your shoes if you don't mind. Take off my shoes? Why? What kind of rug? Are you excited about that new grocery store that's going in? Where? Brand new. New aisles, new shopping carts, everything. Yeah. <laughs> I hadn't heard. Oh. 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 Don't panic, don't panic. Yeah. Slow, slow, slow. I'm gonna get slow. something. I'm gonna get something. I am so, so sorry. Ah, oh, man. That is... Dab it. I am dabbing it. No, not with a paper towel. Seriously. Just dab it. You're rubbing it in. Well, what am I supposed to do? You have to keep it wet. Dab it! What do you mean by dab? That's dabbing. Okay, what was I doing? You were doing this. That's more wiping. That's wiping? Yeah. What? That's Wait, not where the stain is. Take this off. I thought you were supposed to be dabbing. It's beyond dabbing now. Ooh. Keep it white. Oh, man. I think the dabbing was working better. Looking at. Oh, sorry. Hang on just one second, okay? Hi. What was wrong with the rug? Is everything. Oh, it's, 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 the style yeah, wasn't style. exactly right. Once it's in the house, yeah. But, you know, the size, maybe something like a little smaller. Smaller. Just a little. Hey, Andy, there's that feminist bookstore I was telling you about. Yeah, man, Drew, everyone's talking about feminism. People are getting together and they're addressing discrimination, Black Lives Matter, transgender activists, right? People speaking out about sexual assault. What I hate about it is that none of it's about us. None of these movements are about us. I mean, where's our movement? You know what I mean? I'm telling you, that's why uh, men need safe spaces, too. The only place I feel safe expressing myself is on social media, you know, under a pseudonym. Dr. Man, that's, that's the name I use. <laughs> My safe space is Reddit. You're on Reddit? Yeah, me too. Yeah, the internet is like my room of one's own. Yeah, I mean, in some ways it kind of feels like we're a minority all of a sudden. Yeah. What about men? What about men? Don't forget us to regret. What about men? What about men when people show? 
You know, pretty soon every Hollywood movie is going to be a remake with women in the lead role. Do you know that more women graduate from college than men? Come on. You know, it's really messed up. Only women can have babies. I want to have a baby. I want control of my own body. What about me? What about men? talk about equality the statue of liberty what about our statue the statue of liberty where's our joe of arc i want to be burnt at the stake what about the boyfriends of the women's rights movement yeah how come we don't know about harriet tubman's husband or eleanor roosevelt's fdr we only know his initials what about men what about men we produce things introduce things written by men invented by men we Seem good, right? Yeah. Should we uh, draft a constitution? Yes, but let's do it this time in a way that really favors men. Good idea. All right. Are you going to pick a song? Definitely. Uh, me and Anne might do the whole weekend. That's a music festival, right? It's like uh, camping and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there are hotels nearby, so. Yeah, I haven't missed a year since it started. Are you and Michelle gonna go? You guys should go. Oh. I mean, you know who's headlining, right? Flaming lips. That's great. Okay, that's exciting. I mean, we'd have to get there early. Yeah, to see some of the bands and then kind of late to see some of the other ones. It's like a full day. It's supposed to be 100 degrees mm -hmm. and 100% sand in your mouth. Look at the cheapest price. So expensive. Yeah, but I don't want to miss out, you know what I'm saying? Like. I know, and everyone's going to be talking about it, and we're going to have to watch everyone's Instagram photos and Twitter. That's all porta potties right there. The smell situation, the small talk situation. How many festivals are we going to go to? That's never going to end. That sounds terrible. It's uncivilized. Let's not go. I, I just, just skip I it. can't this year. Let's just forget it. Yeah. Oh, well. What's that ad? If you're over 40 and you often go to huge music festivals, you may have found that they're actually not that fun. That's us. Yeah. Standing all day, the heat, the crowds. What if I told you you could be at a concert and sit down? To solve this problem, we're introducing the first phase in virtual participation using drones. Wow, new technology. You had to be there. The absentee concert goer experience. We wanted to create something beautiful, functional, and durable and something that lives comfortably in your living room. And we did it. It was hard, but we're pretty good. And here's the kicker. When the show is over, you get a certificate signed by the festival organizers saying that you attended the show. Let us bring the concert to you. I mean, it does seem like a better solution than actually going. And here's your personal helmet. Wow, ha, it's a lot lighter than I thought it'd be. Yeah. And uh, these will be you. Woo. It's going to be insane. How close can we get to the band? Can we just go right up to the front? Hover above the front row, yeah. Why not? I already feel relaxed. Just no crowds. No lines. If anything happens to these, your address is printed right on the drone. If anyone finds it, they'll bring it right back here and give it back to you. Huh. Here's your beers. Look at this. Wow, we're yeah. really at a festival. Oh, sure. Oh, before I forget. You're gonna love it. You're gonna go, oh, that little detail. Ah. Now our house smells like a porta potty. Right? Oh, yeah. You like that? Here's your laminates. Oh, man. I wish I was going. Oh, you're not going? Yeah, I'm going. I'm going. Um, but I just learned that the customers really like to hear that. But are you going, going, or not going, but going? The whole drone thing uh, makes me nauseous. Should I take a Dramamine? If you get nauseous while you're wearing this, throw up. That's part of the experience. What are the FAA regulations with this? I mean, Shh, no. No, don't worry about that. About what? About I the FAA. 
Why is that? Because it's very easy to down a plane with one of these. Don't worry. All right. Let's go. Okay. All right. We're going to go to the concert, right? right Here we go. Right to the festival. Let's see some music. Woo. Oh, shit. Are you okay? What? Are you okay? Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Well, have a great time. Fly. This is incredible. Whoa. My body feels like it's floating. So we don't need to follow the highways. Let's just go right there. Okay. Go left. Up, 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 up. Your shoulders hurt? It's making me a little dizzy. I'm just going to be honest. Oh, my God. Look at this line. Oh, boy. All right. Well, I guess we'll just get in the back. Oh, no, no. We don't have to. We can go over. Right. Uh -huh. It's called the future in modernism. Hi. Sorry. We're wearing a flaming lip shirt. I've got one, too. Mine's black. Number one fan since the early days. Hey, look at that. There's a fan. They are just jammed in there. These people are already waiting at the front of the stage. They're going to have to keep that spot all day in order to see the van. <laughs> yeah, we love you. Get along. Oh, what's going on? Oh, someone here got mad. Get out of here. Come on, let's go this way. OK. Load schedule. Coachella from last year. No. Load current schedule. Oh, wait, OK. What about Peaches? She's on in like 15. Let's go see Refuse first and come back for Peaches. OK. okay. Isn't it this way? Mm, that's the wrong way. I'm going to go up above everyone just for one second, and I'll see. OK. Whoa. Nice. Easy. OK, so it's just this way. We're going to miss Peaches. OK, OK. Step on it. All right, let's go. Faster. The distress. <laughs> yes, this is good. All right, you got some speed here. This is fast. Yeah. Yeah. I think I hit somebody. Shit. All right, so main stage is there. I think Flaming Lips are playing soon. Brendan, there's a campsite over this way. Let's just cut through. OK, main stage bound. Let's go. Oh, man, I love chopping wood. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to see the Flaming Lips. Yeah. yeah. So this is the whole weekend here. Yeah. I. What the hell is that? Wow, this is cool. Whoa! Hey! You need to knock that drone down out of the sky. <laughs> Sir, excuse me? Holy crap, this thing's speed. What's your problem, man? Wait, what, you got a problem? You're just like some kind of problem guy? Huh? You're a tough guy? Yeah, I'm a tough guy. Yeah. What are you, some sort of nerd sitting at home with your drone? You want to fight? Brennan, I don't, I don't know. You're just a little drone. You think I'm not scared of you, man? I'm gonna seriously kick your ass. What's up, man? Bring it. You want a little piece? Yeah, I want it. I don't want a piece. I want the whole damn thing. you, man. Oh. Ah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Take that. Mm. Ah. I can't help you. I just need to power this up. Ah. Ah. Power on. Ah, nice motorcycle, buddy. Yeah. Cut my face off! So mad, I'm gonna kill that! Hey, 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 hey! Ah. Oh, there's an address! What happened? I don't have any signal anymore. Damn! Uh. Let me connect you to me. We'll just go on one. Okay. Get out of here. Make sure the lift don't start without me, you guys. Look at this. You like this spot? Yeah, just like Ron said. We have Great. front row seats. Waiting for the flaming lift. Wait a minute. Who's that? Hello, I am the lawyer for the Flaming Lips. I'm the only one who's legally allowed to sing this song. I apologize. Hit it. I don't know what this is. 
How do I turn my volume down on this thing? Yee. Yee. This is awful. Hold on. Hello? Should we go check it out? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, 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 yeah it's all right. No, wait. You ready? Oh, that's scary. <laughs> How do you feel? Safe. they arranged this dinner for Nina at the country house. I mean, we live in the city. Make it easy. Oh, the old summer house. Make yourself at home. My great who papa bought the property from the county buffoon in the 1930s. Built this cabin with his own two hands. He used molten peanut butter as cement. Is that common in the 1930s? Well, I think they were just copying Popeye cartoons back then. You know, food is solution. They were so stupid back then. What's that? Oh, they're just wild horses. There's a lot of them up here, you know, kind of untamed. It's so beautiful. Beautiful? I never thought of it that way. You're such a city girl. <laughs> Wes. Candy. This is Wesley, our caretaker. Sorry to leave the gate open. I was trying to back the truck up. <laughs> it's OK. <laughs> this is Tony. Pleased to be of acquaintance. Oh, God, the house is beautiful. You've kept it so lovely. Thank you. Damn horses. Are they getting worse? They are. These new horse hunting laws are made for a boom in the baby foals. I try to swat them out, but they just run too fast. Well, what about animal control? County can't afford it. God damn it. God damn this whole county. You hungry, sweetie? want to eat? Are you talking to me? Mm-hmm. Go fix you something? Sh sure. You hungry? Well, hell yes. Mm, damn fine meat. Good. How long has Wes been in your life? Oh, Wes, since I was a kid. You were a little one. Tell me how to memorize numbers. You know, one, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, the hundreds, and then up to, you know, 1,000, 2,000. Wow, you still haven't memorized. Well, you know. Numbers are real important out here in the countryside, you know. Farming is all numbers. Moisture, the soil, the pH, the NPK, nitrogen, potash, phosphorus. You remember all that? Of course I do. What a bright young girl. Remember when you survived a weekend in the woods? I did. I, I used a pine cone as a toothbrush. Mm -hmm. You know, there's water in trees. Yes, ma'am, there is. Better water than they have in the store, anyway. Ten times as good. Twenty times as good. Nice pine taste. Oh, it's just a different world up here. Sure is. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Here we go. It's those horses. I'm sorry, Tony. Shoot! Get out! Get! Get lost! Yo, get now! Get you, get you, get you, get you! Get out! Shoot now! Shoot! You hear me now? You go! Oh, so many adventures out here. Candy, I'm sorry I missed them. My God, I tried to run them off, but there must be hundreds of them. No, it's not your fault. We need to build a horse pit. A horse pit? 
She's a city girl. She's city girl. It, it's a pit you dig about 15 foot deep, and, and the horses fall into it like a trap. Then you put the heavy stones on top. Those poor horses. Poor Those horses, poor are you horses. kidding me? They're vermin. They carry disease, Tony. Here's what their purpose is right here. You know what that is? That's horse meat. That's all they're good for. I, I'm so sorry. I, didn't, I, I, I meant no offense. I meant no harm. It's okay, Tony. I understand. I'm, we, we just get... She just didn't know. She just didn't know. I think they're fixing that road up. Better school her ass, though. What happened? I saw a horse up close. It was just so dead behind the eyes. No emotion. Get! 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 Go! Get lost! I think they're gone. Let's get some sleep. I'm sorry about all this, Tony. Must be quite a culture shock. What did you do here as a kid? It seems so idyllic. We had this game. It was called Throw the Large Stone. It's so silly. We'd throw these big rocks at each other's heads, and our faces would get all calloused up, and... Our arms got really built, though. What about you? Didn't you have a little summer house somewhere? I wouldn't exactly call it a house. Uh, we had a hut right in the ocean. Too close to the water, actually, and it'd flood half the day. Mm. Uh, the waves were really loud. Salt water all around us. Wow. Well, I think we should turn in, get some shut-eye. Sun will be up first thing in the morning. I know, I hear it. You're on the roof. F you! F you! F off! Pick up the body in the morning. Throw it out into the trees. Stupid f animals. What is this that looks so good? Well, we've got some morning bread, some wheat puffs, and um, horse bacon. Any, uh... Word from your family? Oh, just check. Oh, you're kidding me. What? What's from my brother? I've got Nina with me. We were on our way up, but we're not going to be able to make it. We'll do it another time. I mean, tell me before I come all the way up here. It's so inconsiderate. It's fine. What do you want to do? Do you, do you want to just go back? I mean, I suppose we could. We could take the scenic route back. Sounds nice. Well, we only have to take the main road down the first mile or so. Oh, no, my God! What have they done? Stomped on everything like a goddamn f tornado. Oh. Damn horses. You heading back? Yeah, well, the family ain't gonna turn up. They canceled last minute, so we're gonna head on home. We'll have this all cleaned up by the time y'all come back. I thank you, Wesley. You're an angel from heaven above. Oh, God. Shoot! Shoot! Uh, we, we just want to get to our car. You think that just because you make all that noise, you run this place, that you run this county? You don't. This is our land. We built this cabin. I'd like to see you sign a deed. They'd laugh right at you at the real estate office. Why don't we just walk home? There's a path up to the road over here. Okay. We'll be back. Hurry back now. 911, where's your emergency? There's blood everywhere. That sounds very grisly, sir. I'm just gonna ask you a couple questions. Have you had any trouble urinating? No. Do you have any new sexual partners? No. I need to know what you had for dinner this evening. A salad. Could there have been beets in the salad, sir? There's spinach. Was there goat cheese? Oh yeah, actually, there were beets in there. Yes, beets often change the consistency and the color of your stool. Really? You're gonna be fine. I promise it's not blood, it's beets. Oh, damn. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. 911, what's your emergency? <laughs> Please stop crying. Don't roll your eyes. They can't see me rolling my eyes. Shouldn't you know I'm rolling my eyes? What? What have you eaten today? 
I had a bowl of soup. At any point, do you think you had any beets? No. Okay. What kind of soup was it? Borscht. Borscht is actually made from beets, so you did have beets. What should I do? Just flush a couple times, it'll be fine. When was your emergency? Are you able to breathe? Yeah. Is it beets? Yeah. Great. Hi, was it beets? Yep. <laughs> That's up. 911, how are those beets you ate tonight? Uh, Hi, I assume it's beets? Beets, but what's your problem? Do you have a red toilet? All that is, ma'am, is just beets discoloring your stool. We call it a stool stain. You don't have rectum cancer. It's beets. You didn't notice I had a haircut. Where'd you get a haircut? Right here. This is shorter. 911, where's your emergency? I've had a car accident. Can you tell me your exact location? I'm not sure. Did you have any beets in a salad or beet chips or... Beets, am I understanding you correctly? Beets, the, the vegetable. I was in a car accident. There's, I'm covered in red. Wait a minute. You know what? You're right, it is beets. I crashed into a beet truck. How, how in heck did you know that? Sir, it's always beets. I think I'm covered in beet juice. Of course it's beets, sir. Thanks for calling. Hello? 911. Feels good now, huh? It's yeah. Cooling off. Perfect. Ooh, what's this? For sale. For sale? Huh. It's gorgeous. Michelle, we've always talked about adventuring out in nature, you know, and camping and getting away from it all. I mean, that's how people should live. Yeah. Right? We're just free. I don't like it. Man life. Man life. Oh, there's so much room. <laughs> yeah, I want to chase light. Oh. Walk around without a shirt, bathe ourselves in the river, just wash each other's hair. <laughs> Should we? Are you peeing? What? Can you move further from the van? I mean, Ollie doesn't start preschool for another couple of years. We have the time. You know, if we continue living in here, we could uh, educate him. Just, no more talking, I think. Do you want to make love in the front seat? What? I'm hungry. All right, well, I got dinner from the gas station. I'm tired of eating at a gas station. I have terrible diarrhea. I'm going with this guy. What? You don't even know him. Bye, Brendan. You know, Brendan, I'll be honest. If we're going to make a big lifestyle change, let's just get a new condo where everything's really clean and sterile. Ooh, condos. Hi, welcome to Tiny Town. Micro village. Little place. And that's a tiny micro house. Yeah, it's very, very efficient. Everything is thought out. No waste of space anywhere. This is a bathroom and a home office. Can you hand me the uh, shower gel, please? Yes, coming up. There you go. Thank you. How's your novel coming along? Really great. I'm on page one and a half. See this kitty litter box? Out of sight. We have a library. Oh, hi. How's that book? It's great. I just, you know, wanted a little alone time. I'm just hanging out watching TV. I'm just taking a bath. Oh, I'm ready to wash my hair. Uh, I can't see the TV now. Can what? I can I shut it off? I can't see the TV. Sure. Kendall. Hey. I forgot the code to the door. Can you just come down and let me in? I'm upstairs. Every little closet, every little space, every little cubby hole. Micro living. Thanks for making the bed. That was very nice. So what did you want, cream? Yeah. OK, you're always breathing down the back of my neck. It's like I can feel your hot breath on me all the time. Mmm. Some false toast. There you go. Bon appetit. So, so. OK. Move into a micro house. In a micro community. Come on, move in. It'll take you five minutes. Oh, micro house, babe. I've always wanted to do that. We could look like that. We're free spirits. Who cares? Yes. I'm down I with love it. Love you. Right. We're coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, are you basting something? My ovaries. Nice. Congrats. Thank you. Okay. Hold on a sec. Hi, can I help you? Are you Carrie? Yeah, why? I found her! <laughs> Sorry, who are you guys? We're the mayor's kids. 
You're a new mommy. I think you're mistaken. You're definitely not my kids. And the mayor does not have kids. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you coming by. You guys are really cute. And I'd be happy to buy whatever you're selling. Welcome to the family. Whose family? I have my own family. Okay, well, thanks for coming by. If you'd like me to sign a petition or... Is that a kitchen? Yeah. Let's get a snack. You guys aren't getting a snack here. We're home! No, hey, I don't think so, guys. Hey, come on! Yellow. You already have kids? Yeah, I got tons of them. Why? I'm so confused. Why would you ask to artificially inseminate me if, if you already have kids? Well, I said if you didn't have anything going on. I'm the mayor. I got lots going on. There was never any question of that. Okay, so, so you want me to raise your kids? Yeah. We're out of OJ. I thought this could I mean, be a nice way to practice. You know, have a few dad, kids around dad, the house. Dad, 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 dad. dad oh, dad, listen to dad, that. Dad, dad, yeah, dad, yeah, dad, yeah. Dad, dad, dad. Hey! These kids don't have any manners. They're all over my kitchen. They're drinking my orange juice. They're drinking your orange juice. I thought you wanted a baby. I do want a baby. It's just... Hey, look, kids are crazy. You just gotta roll with it. All right, have fun. Bye. Thanks. All right, I just got off the phone with your dad. I'm sorry, I'm a little discombobulated. He uh, doesn't understand us. But you do. Really? You know, if you want, we don't even have to invite him to Thanksgiving. Yeah. I think you, you we're getting ahead of ourselves here. I don't know, we're kind of a family now. Yeah. You're like the best mom we've ever had. We love you. Enough with the pillows, you guys. All right, this is the house. Mom, what? Gus locked himself in his room. Wait, he has a room? Yeah. I'm not telling anybody. This is the bathroom. No. Uh, we can't hear you. We can't you. hear you. What? Are you and Dad getting a divorce? Uh, your dad and I aren't even dating. But when your baby finally arrives, are you still gonna love us? I don't love you. I, I, I've never loved you. The only relationship I have with your sisters and your brother is that you're living at my house. Do you guys want to get orange juice? Do you want to get some OJ at the store? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Baby, you're so tasty, tasty. I don't really want to waste it. Baby, let's get hasty, tasty. I love it when you shake that. So put your back into it and let your mind go. You got to run right through it and make my mind go wild. Tonight, mommy? Yeah, I want to curl up on top of your head and like a squirrel. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, guys. What's that? Look, that's your daddy's sperm. What? Why is it in that weird can? It should be stuffed up inside your body. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I've been busy with you guys. Mm. What? Yes. Oh, gross. Are you even a real mom? No, I've been totally clear on that. She was clear about that. I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> Wait, but, but guys, I mean, where are you going? We're running away. No. Hey, get back here. I don't know. We're kind of a family. Yeah. You're like the best mom I've ever had. We love you. Why is it in that weird can? It should be stuffed up inside your body. Body, body. How's my baby mama? Uh, well, her kids... I mean, your adult kids, uh, they ran away. Did you make them mad? Apparently. It's like they loved me so much, and then they just turned on me so quickly. I do that. I have a pretty good idea where they are. I have two tickets to mom, please. Oh, this is mom. Please silence all cell phones and pagers. The play you're about to see tonight is based on real events. I'm mom. A lonely woman in the world. I want to have kids, but I don't know if I'm ready for it. Can I love? The answer is no. Uh, this knock, is knock. Will you let no, us no, 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 no
Look at this place. <laughs> it's rooms and a bathroom and a kitchen. Wait a minute. Hey, Mom, can we have some orange juice? This is my house. Carrie. These are my things. That's, that's not how it happened. No! My OJ! Okay, well, that's true. They drink all my orange juice. No. Yeah. Mayor, it's me. I just want to be a selfish, single spinster all my life. I don't need anybody. I'm not talking to anybody. I'll buy you some OJ if you come out. Jesus, there's 10 acts. Yo. Just being a good mom. I love it. Time for orange juice at the supermarket. What is a family? OJ. What is it? This is a is it terrible a play, but I just feel pride. What's happening? Now, Mom, you just lose all perspective and love everything your kids do. I hate that. Personal ad. Hmm. Age. 33. No. 32. They don't check, right? Early 30s with an adolescent spirit. <laughs> Whoever thought that I, Rebecca Malloy, would be looking for love online? Isn't computer dating a realm usually reserved for girls who have to shave their inner thighs and wear pants all year long? Why me? Why haven't I found the one? I'm attractive. I mean, I don't stop traffic with my looks, but who would want to? That's distracting. Dangerous, even. I'm gonna check out the kids. My mom always said if you want something, you have to send that energy out to the universe. So here it goes, universe. I'm Rebecca Malloy, and I am taking applications for Mr. Wright. Kids are sleeping like angels. I found your ring in the bathroom. Hmm. Wayne went to Penn State, where he studied geology. But I don't want someone who studied rocks. I want a guy who is a rock. Oh, Monty. I wonder if he knows he has food on his face. I wonder if I have food on my face. Ugh. I bet Monty doesn't even floss. Sorry. Movies. My favorite. Was this a sign? My love life was going from a flop to a blockbuster. And just like that, there he was. I wanted him with my entire being. It was fate, destiny. But in the back of my head, there was a voice telling me not to go. Don't go. A voice trying to hold us back from being together. What the hell? What an annoying voice. Hey! Listen, I'm married, but you're just so real. Let's get out of here. I'm Gus Van Sant with the Blunderbuss Film Festival. Keep your seats, because uh, we're going to have a Q&A with the filmmakers. Are you guys here? Gus, right here. Hey. Anthony and Paul Wernicker. Hey. Let's see it. How's it? Thanks. So what, what was the inspiration behind your film, Looking for Mr. Wright? What's a date? What the hell is a date anymore? What is the role of Americans? Like, what, what are we... You know what I mean? As as a it's like who? What are Americans now? Is it the normal norm, n normal normal uh, Rockland painting? Uh, and, and and you guys liked it, right? A lot. Uh, what did you shoot it on? Uh, we did a multi hybrid of uh, HD sixteen mil and eight mil. Uh, we tried to do some of it on black and white, and that got. Uh, thrown out in a dumpster, but that's our secret. Excellent. And uh, you, you wanted to bring a friend up? Our principal on the film is uh, Franny Walker. And I just want to say, we're gonna, is, she, is she here? Franny. Hi. Huge round of, I mean, she killed it. What a genius. She was just unreal. And uh, My voice sounds so microphone-y. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, like, different for me. But I think how it was... <laughs> Alright, let me go sit down. Okay, shot, okay. Alright. 
Any questions from the audience? Yeah, one more thing. I'm sorry. I just want to say to you, our, our other whole thing about this movie is first dates suck. Gus, to go back to your question, what do we shoot this movie on? I don't like that question. We shot it on our hands and knees. We shot it with sores, with calluses. We shot it on faith. And, uh, and, and a lot of uh, donuts and <laughs> Twinkies. <laughs> I must have put on uh, eight pounds on this, uh, this production. Uh, we ate a lot. Uh, Gus? Where did Gus go? Gus? Bro? Oh, hey, wait. Do you mind mailing this for me? Another please? one? Yes. You and your movies, huh? Yeah, I'm a total movie buff. Are you? I, I am too. That's What's a, your favorite movie? Uh, right now, I really like Fifty First Dates with Drew Barrymore. You like Scorsese? Uh, Zellweger. I like light movies. I like just romantic stuff. Have you ever heard of uh, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari? Mm -mm. You can't see film without seeing that first. Whoa, okay. The cross cuts? I'm like really into editing. Editing is like my favorite. I'm like an editing freak. Really? Oh, uh, it's German. Okay. Black and white and silent. Get it. I had to see it when I was eight. Really? Yeah. I love film. That seems so young. It's all I ever liked. Okay, well, thanks for What's all your the... setup? Oh, you know, I've got like a, a big screen TV. Oh, and I've got yeah. little speakers and... Do Blu-ray. Blu-ray? Really? I do Blu-ray. Okay. I'll, oh my gosh. Thank you. All right, Sandra Paulson. Bye. Okay. It's a mailman, it's Nick. Guess what? Okay. It came. The cabinet of Dr. Caligari with Werner Klaus. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to have a little discussion. I'm going to okay. set up a little table right here. We're going to talk about it. Movie buffs. Movie buffs. <laughs> Mr. Caligari, I will see you uh, later. I'm not ready. Fine. But unfortunately, I only have two roses left. Oh, I haven't seen this one. Perfect. Had some really good times. All right, Dr. Caligari, let's do this. Well? I'll be honest, I did not watch it. Well, why did you put it up to be sent back? What I'm doing is I'm sending it back so I can get going again. Like, I'm totally stalled out. Watch it. No, I, I can't. I can't. It, this is like a rite of passage. This is something you just have to, like, you have to. Listen, I just want to feel taken care of by a movie. This does it. it, 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 it it's, it's, like, it's like a black cloak. It keeps you no. warm in a top hat, and it, it, it takes care of you in its own I way. I tried. I seriously tried. This is the only way out. This is not going back there. This goes through your DVD player, and then it goes back. Here we go. What do you think? Look closer. Don't look away. I totally get it. <laughs> hey, I did it. You watched it? Yeah. The whole thing? <laughs> I'm, I'm free! Finally! I'm free! <sighs> Wait. What is this? Once you watch The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, you're cursed until someone else watches the film. What am I gonna do now? <laughs> you wanna get an early start, you wanna get 4 a.m. is kinda, of, well, yeah, when they, but that's... Okay, how are the uh, benefits? Benefits are fantastic, actually. It's Great. a really good benefit. Happy to be wearing this. It's kind of easier. This is a little high, but they're shorts for summer, right? They're shorts for summer, yeah. Okay. Dave, do you see that dog over there? Oh, yeah, what's the deal? Who does that? Who puts a dog outside? Does that belong to somebody? 
We, we gotta ask around. Yeah. Hey, excuse me. Is that your dog? Sir, is that your dog right there? Okay. Hey, guys. Uh, we're looking for a dog. Owner. Looks like a white and brown okay. dog. For real. We got an owner on the dog. Huh? There's an animal tied up to a piece of metal. I'm sure it wasn't born there. How can you guys just sit there eating? If the Titanic was sinking right there, would you just ignore it? While you guys are eating, I will not be able to eat until this is resolved. Hi, have you seen this dog? Are you the owner? Have you guys seen this? Guys, come on! Hello! Is anybody listening? This dog will not be a bait dog in a fight baby, ring! Baby, baby. Fine. 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 It's okay. She's upset. Kat is upset. I'll tell you something. We want our iced tea and our orange juice just like you do. He fainted. Oh, poor thing. Where's the waitress? Hey. Ma'am? I mean, we don't really carry dog food. Uh, what do you think of fried stuffed olives? A dog portion of it? Okay, I can tell right okay. now that we're okay. gonna want the meatballs right. braised with tomato. I want you to leave off the rosemary. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's get these skillet mussels with drawn butter. Seared butter. Are you getting all this? You're not writing okay. anything down. It's, I can remember it. Oh, really? really? Yeah. What's the second thing we ordered? You ordered the braised meatballs. Gosh, she's good. She's, she's good. good. She's good. You are very good. You know what that dog would say right now? To you guys, if he could speak, he would say, Bruh! And bruh! And bruh, bruh, bruh! And ask some of the people who work in the kitchen if th th this dog I mean, belongs to them. We don't really that. bring dogs to work. But maybe one of the dishwashers? You could say something like, Si ustedes tienen un perro, por favor, vienen aquí. Oh, I mean, they Marino. speak English. The dishwashers? Yeah. Okay. We, we speak Spanish, we, like, we travel a lot. We went to Ecuador. I am really, really sorry for what you're going through. Okay, Come on, please, set you. it down, set it down, set it down immediately, set it down. immediately. Come you know what, he doesn't no, like it. Take no, it away. This spells metallic Take it away. to me. No, no, we don't want no, the water or anything. Dave, I'm freaking out! Okay. I'm freaking out, Calm Dave. down, calm down, yeah. calm down, calm down. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna, we're gonna let him go. Let it go, please. You're gonna have all kinds of experiences and meet all kinds of dogs. There's some good paths out there. There's one path that goes right up the hillside. Hey, it's so pretty, you won't even believe it. And when you're thirsty, you can drink from any lake you want. Imagine the biggest lake in the whole world. The ocean. You can just drink the whole thing. You're free. Run it out, buddy. You're free, soldier. Um, Where's Tucker? I don't know, sweetie. Hi, um, did you happen to see a dog? Uh, we did see a dog, actually. You did? Okay, what, what, did you see where he went? He went that way. We, we had to let him go. Is this some kind of a joke? Or... No, who puts their dog on a pole like a stripper? Who does that? Everybody puts their... Wait a minute, who, who are you people? We, we were just gone for a few minutes. Okay, uh, how... Well, a few minutes is like a month in dog years. We, we, it's, it's, we went to get a cookie yeah, we and... We took your dog off the pole because it was choking. No, get out of my face. It wasn't in your face. Get out of her face, it wasn't, man. She was in... Look, uh, hey, where, where are you going? The right thing. No, okay, we, we totally where right thing. I'm calling the cops. I was so tired of people. With okay. Hi, Jordan. No, Jordan. Hey, Jordan. No, crying for Quiet girls. Down. This is ridiculous. Let's go. No crying. We don't need to cry, Jordan. I'm not crying. Quiet, please. Take your seats. I hear you. Trust me. I've listened to your voicemails. I have read your emails. I know your concerns. We're here tonight to figure out how to best address these issues. We, we can't wait around while you figure out how to best address these issues. This is an emergency. For God's sake, women are children. They have no grit. My child is soft. Can't even watch a TV commercial without tearing up. I'm sorry, and I have read the article about the importance of grit. Then you should know that when children are raised with too much support and self-esteem, they're sometimes unable to deal with the harsh realities of life causing them yeah. to fail in adulthood. Some of the faculty and I have been talking about rectifying the situation. I would like to present to you Operation Whoa. Safe Bully. Yeah. This brings it back to what we believe in. God, guns, grades, grads, and grit. Yeah. 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 That's great. I like that. Yeah. Hi, Bob. Morning. Morning, students. I just wanted to introduce you to a new schoolmate. This is Chip Pinsky. Hi, everybody. Now, you'll probably see Chip in the hallways, and I just want to assure you that your parents and teachers know that he is here. Have a wonderful day. Watch your step! <laughs> Look who it is. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, think fast! <laughs> oh, Schuler. What, was, what happened? What, what's his name? Schuler. Schuler, will you please get the school nurse? Schuler, Schuler, can you hear me, buddy? Huh? Did you pass out? You okay there? Okay, just breathe. What are you looking at? All right, just, just stay there. Hey, you're lucky! 
Fork over your lunch money, four eyes. I don't have any. I already ate. What about you, four eyes? What am I gonna eat? You gonna be hungry? Yes. You like peanut butter and wheat bread? Are you allergic to wheat? And you're gonna want some milk? Sure. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for the lunch money. Are you okay, Aiden? You want me to go get Miss Bell? No. I think I'll be okay. I'll, I'll be okay. Dr. Brooks! Hey, jerk! Jerk? Uh, somebody call me a jerk. I guess somebody wants to get shoved. No, 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 please don't. I, I'd really rather not. It's not as bad as you, you think here. Hang out there. So, e easiest way to get shoved is there's, this is, this is padding. So it takes the impact of it. And the best way to do it is just hold on my wrist. Okay. So if you hit the impact with the other hand and it sounds louder than it really is. All right, so just go ahead and get, fall down. There you go. Yeah! See that? Who's next? Hey, got some books to read down there. You okay? You know, I, I, I think I am. That's a stupid sandwich. Carrots? Ha <laughs> ha! What's that, an apple? Well, your face looks like an apple. <laughs> Chip, we need to talk. You've only been here for three days and no one likes you. And you're just a big bully. And you're not even good at that. Yeah. 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 And you know what? I'm going to tell Mr. Crandall that you made Stella cry yesterday in the gym. Yeah. Yeah. You know what they're going to do after that? What? They're going to call your parents and they're going to put you on medication. Well, whatever that plan was, it needs to end now. I mean, my daughter won't wear her bicycle helmet, and she keeps talking about taking something called Krav Maga. Right, I told my son he needed to start thinking about what his college major will be, and he got me in a headlock and tried to give me a swirly. You have to do something right away. Now they're too gritty. I agree. With that in mind, Operation Refragilization. The plan is two words, musical theater. From grit to grease, we're holding auditions on Friday. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the forecast should be another gray, drizzly morning, high in the low 40s. By afternoon, we may get a glimpse of the sun, but don't get your hopes up too high. We still got another eight months of winter. <laughs> Very nice. This is like the only patch of light in the entire city. Summer is here. Yes. Winter Bye rain. Winter. We're, we're through with you. I'm so excited to not be depressed for like six months. Me too. And wherever. Wait. Oh. Oh. Oh well. It's good to see you guys. I'm uh, on like three antidepressants. In right, the summer, well, I just go down to one. I'm so tired of Portland in the winter. Hey guys, right there. Go. Light is dark. Look at this. Do I look tan? A little bit. Yum. Woo! 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 Aww! Damn! Oh, wow. Oh, right there! It's back! Hey, son! Okay, son. okay, okay. Yes, wow. you have a car and you exist. We are really intimidating. What? Come on! Oh, man. Right, it's freezing. Hey, guys, look across the way, right there. That's my spot. <laughs> Down. Catch up. Let's stay together. Fly south for the winter. What are they doing? <gasps> <laughs>